can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, Chapter 881, Split Open Eye There's a Problem with the School's Consciousness? Chen Gu was standing on a pile of broken mirrors. If he moved too much, he would break them into pieces. Stay alert. Do not get close to the window, the old headmaster screamed. Without thinking about it, he had the students run to safety. This was something implanted in his body, and his body moved faster than his mind. What's going on outside? There was chaos in the corridor. Before Chen Gu could get an answer, there came a loud crash from the corridor. All the windows in the school shattered. The thick fog rolled into the corridor. Chen Gu looked out the door. The sound of screaming and glass shattering echoed nonstop. The only thing that calmed him down was that no matter what happened, Suin was dragging the doll with one hand, guarding the door like nothing could shake him. When the man in the red shirt inside the mirror screamed, something happened to the school's consciousness. Could they be related? Chen Go pulled back his gaze to turn and look at the blood-red mirror before him. Cracks appeared on the mirror, and blood leaked out from it like a heart that was pierced by knives. The small man in the mirror kept tearing at his face like he desperately needed to tear Chen Ji's face away. What is this? Chen Gu was very brave. He knew that red specters and ghosts had a hard time getting close to this place. Gritting his teeth, he extended his hand to the mirror in the corner. When his fingertips touched the edge of the mirror, Chen Gu heard a yell coming from inside the mirror. The torn, bloodied face turned to scream at Chen Gu. He was like a patient with a seriousness inclination for cleanliness, and someone had just touched his face with a muddy hand. The man inside the mirror was screaming, and the consciousness above the school was rampaging. The sound of shattering continued, and the fog rushed into the rooms like a wave. But the room that Chen Gu was in was not affected. Suin stood at the door, holding the doll with one hand, and his other hand held the door. Trails of blood curled around his body. The pale hand gripped the door tightly, barring any fog from entering the room. The red shirt was fluttering, and he was under immense pressure, but the expression on Su Yin's face did not change. Are you the one who summoned the school's consciousness? You can affect it? Chen Gu gripped the edges of the mirror with both hands. He shook it heavily as he tried to pick it up. The mirror was much heavier than he had anticipated. Even with all the force in his body, he was unable to lift the mirror up. To make matters worse, as he attempted to do that, the other pieces of mirrors in the room started to change. They were like wounds on a person's body as they leaked blood. Chen Gu felt like he was being observed by numerous bleeding eyes. They came from different people, and they were staring at him with different emotions. Bang! A loud boom came from the corridor, it was very close to them. It sounded like someone had come and was fighting the old headmaster. Is it one of the staff or another red specter at the school? Chen Gu was anxious. The man inside the mirror could directly influence the school's consciousness and seemed to know the secret about his face. The man must have realized something, and that was why he would stop at nothing to tear down the face that was changing. This mirror is probably the mirror of the door pusher from Western Zhejiang Private Academy. His memory is left inside this mirror. Chen Gu remembered that the first thing that had caught his attention when he entered the room was the mirror and the young man in red shirt inside the mirror. If it was really Zhang Ye who killed the door pusher, this mirror cannot remain, it might harm Zhang Ye. Considering the fact that the doll was just next to him, Chen Gu did not say this out loud. His desire to take the mirror out of the room deepened. Chen Gu was more alert than before. Only by claiming this mirror could he prevent others from influencing the school's consciousness. The door pusher is already dead, now, the school of the afterlife belongs to everyone, so you have no reason to exist. Chen Gu was unable to remove the mirror, so he launched a kick at it instead, but nothing happened to the mirror. Instead, the young man in the mirror slowly calmed down. The man hid inside the mirror to study Chen Gu and he slowly realized that perhaps he had mistaken Chen Gu for someone else. The face looked like another person, 
but there was a crucial difference between them. Chinga also noticed the change to the young man. After experiencing so much, his senses were sharp. Without hesitation, he ordered, Suing. Take out this mirror. The mirrors on the floor cracked. Su Yin darted to Chen Ji's side, and his pale hands reached for the mirror's edge. The man inside the mirror screamed. More blood gushed out from the cracks on the surface, and the blood pierced into Su Yin's palm like they were sharp needles. Small wounds appeared on the pale arms. Su Yin's red pupils were pulsing, and the familiar pain caused him to open his lips. Blood vessels rushed out from his wounds. Suin let go of the doll and gripped the mirror with both of his hands. Crack. The blood-red mirror that was buried inside a pile of broken mirrors was snapped in half, this was something that no one expected. The half that Suin held exploded into splinters. The lower half lost its luster of blood and shrank amid the cemetery of mirrors. Do you think you can escape? Chen Gu gritted his teeth. He had already noticed something from the young man's strange reaction. Assuming that the man was the door pusher's remaining memory, this would explain why the school had not accepted a new door pusher because the real door pusher had not fully died. The second and most important point was, if the young man was the real door pusher, based on what the doll had said, he had entered the Red City before. When he changed into Chen Ji's face, his reaction could only be described as madness, like he had opened a present and found a bomb inside it. This man had probably seen someone with a face similar to Chen Ji's. Just how deep was the trauma that even the school's consciousness was turned mad? Could he have run into the ghost fetus in the Red City and mistaken me for him? Earlier, in Liwan City, the dog kept by the shadow had also made that mistake. Chen Gu, have you gotten what you need? We can't stay here any longer, the old headmaster reminded Chen Gu. The latter rushed out the room with Su Yin and the doll. I plan to inspect every broken mirror in this room, so for now, I can't leave. The rest of the sentence was stuck in his throat because when Chen Gu saw the school's consciousness outside the window, his words were stuck. The large eyeball reflected the entire school in its eyes and the strange thing was, the eye was still expanding like it could burst at any moment. Chapter 882, Meaning of the Mirror, Inverted World The red eyeball that loomed over the school was like the mirror that Chen Gu had just seen. The surface was running with blood, and there was a black gap in the middle of the pupil. This has never happened to the school's consciousness before. In Hong held In Bai's hand as they stood at the door. Her mad expression had already disappeared, what was left was anxiety and shock. The windows at the school were seriously damaged, and it would be hard to repair all of them. Without the windows guarding them, the students at the school realized how close the Red City was. Sir, gather all the students immediately. Do not let them near the window. It's too dangerous outside. The closer the Red City was, the easier Chen Gu could make out the buildings in the city with his Yang vision. Very scary existences are hiding inside the blood fog, things that even red specters are afraid of. Dr. Gao had been made mad by the Red City, Chen Gu was trying to protect the children. The mirror in the hidden room snapped in half, and the eyeball in the sky had the same change. Chen Gu refused to believe there was no connection between the two. Quick, look. There is someone in the fog, someone in the corridor shouted, and everyone looked out the window. There were glimpses of shadows on the field outside of the school, they all ran from inside the school. What are they doing? Before Chen Gu could get the answer, the school's consciousness had already reacted. Many screaming shadows crawled out from the eyeball and tore the people who ran out of the school into pieces. The first batch was soon taken care of, but more people ran out from the building, and most of them were students. It was unclear whether they had been tricked or this was planned, but everyone rushed toward the front gate. When the school's consciousness tore into the adults, it did not hesitate, but when facing the students, it did. Even though it had power stronger than a red specter, it was made up from numerous consciousnesses and was different to an actual red specter. In this moment of hesitance, there was a small number of students who got to the front gate. 
It looked like a normal large gate, but there appeared to be a curse on it. Once the student touched it, they would explode in a shower of blood, and their blood would turn into the school's nutrients. Entering the school is easy, but it'll be hard to leave the school. The desperate consciousness will stop anyone who tries to do so. It will not allow others to have salvation while it is trapped in hell. In Hong looked at those students with pity. They won't be able to escape. No one can leave this school. That is not true. I know someone who has escaped from this school. Chin Guk kept his eyes on the front gate, searching for something. Not long after that, when most students turned into blood flowers and returned to the school's consciousness, there was a barely discernible figure that neared the gate. The man appeared to have practiced this many times. He held something in his hand and whacked it heavily on the gate. The gate budged, and a man's voice came out from the large eyeball in the sky. Many shadows rushed at the strange man near the gate. The school uniform was torn apart by blood vessels, and the white coat underneath was revealed. It was the school's doctor who was banging against the front door. His real identity was an escaped patient from the cursed hospital. Why is this guy there? Hasn't he come here to escape from the cursed hospital? Why is he purposely taunting the school's consciousness? Chinga had a feeling that things were not that simple. The school's consciousness was held back by something and could not unleash its real power, but it should be powerful enough to stop a red specter. The doctor attracted the school's attention. He suffered all the pressure. The white coat became tattered, and the blood-red patient's outfit underneath was slowly revealed. Something's wrong. In Chen Ji's mind, most red specters were cunning and selfish. This patient would cooperate with a non-smiler to escape from the hospital, so he was not a gullible person. Why would he show up at a time like this? Someone is targeting the school's consciousness. This is a plan targeting the greater red specter. Chinga had an answer that floated up in his mind. When the school doctor took all the attacks, from the back of the crowd, a small man with a hunchback walked toward the gate. He kept his head lowered. When his body touched the gate, he raised his face. It was a normal, weathered face. His right eye was murky, and his left eye was just a dark hollow. Changu? Without any hesitation, when he raised his head, he pressed something in his palm on the lock of the gate. Bang! A boom resounded through the school like something was smashed. It was hard to tell where the source came from. It appeared to come from the large eyeball and the left eye of every student at the school. The black gate was pushed open a fraction, and then blood fog blasted through the gate from outside like a wave, swallowing up everything in its way. At the same time, all the students at the school felt a pain that came from the darkest part of their heart like a piece of their soul had been forcibly yanked out. Many strange yet familiar memories rushed into their minds. The students around Chingu collapsed to the ground, wailing in pain. Lightning flashed across the sky. The eyeball made up from the student's consciousness split apart from the middle. The large eyeball was like a melting iceberg, and various rolling blood vessels weaved out a large mirror in the sky. There was another school inside the mirror. Many students raised their heads to look at this inverted blood-red world. That is the campus constructed by the painter. Chin Ji's eyes widened. Everything looked so familiar. He looked at the sky above his head, and he was shocked beyond words. As the eyeball cracked, the blood vessels crumbled, and the large mirror that loomed over the school slowly collapsed. The seemingly normal students in the mirror were slowly changing into blood vessels that carried memories, and at the center of the school on the side of the mirror, a boy and a girl stood at the roof of the lab building. They were closest to the blood-red world. A broken canvas was left next to the boy, and one could not see the expression on his face. The girl sat at the edge of the building as she looked at the blood-red sky above them with admiration. Painter, you lost. Chapter 883, What is the Color of Destiny? The blood eye that dangled above the school split open from the middle and turned into a giant mirror that loomed over the entire school. The surface of the mirror was red. 
On this side of the mirror was the blood-red world behind the door while on the other side was the campus constructed by the painter. The painter used the students' memories to create two campuses, so when the school consciousness is injured, the campuses that he built are naturally influenced. Chingo lifted his head to look at the mirror in the sky. The girl who sat on the rooftop of the lab building on the other side was doing the same. Chang Wenyu? The name crossed Chin Ji's mind. The girl was completely different from what Chin Gu had imagined. In Chang Gu's movies, Chang Wenyu possessed many personalities, but generally, she was a cute, quiet girl. This should be how Chang Gu imagined his sister to be, but the big brother did not really know his sister well, and because of that, Chin Ji's impression of her had been misguided as well. The real Chang Wenyu was an inapproachable person. Her left eye was dug out and a hollow hole remained. There appeared to be fire blazing in her right eye, where Extreme Maddened was hidden. This kind of person would do anything, there was nothing that would limit them in the world. Even they would have difficulty controlling themselves. In comparison, the painter was another extreme. He did not say a word. He was as quiet as death. Even though the canvas lay broken, even though the campuses that he had spent so many years constructing were crumbling, even when the school's consciousness was seriously injured, his expression did not change. The painter and Chang Wenyu were two extremes. When a huge problem occurred, when the school was exposed before the Red City, of these two people, one was lowering his head to look at his canvas like he was remembering the paintings that he had made with it while the other sat at the edge of the building, looking up at the sky, as if admiring the chaos on the other side. Two madmen. Chin Ji's eyes moved from the girl to the boy. Now he could confirm that there was a connection between the painter and Fan Yu. They had the same face, but different bodies. Probably due to low confidence, Fan Yu kept his head lowered and had a slight stoop while the painter looked more normal. I've met Fan Yu outside the door and spent some time with him. I really did not expect this to happen. Chin Ge found that he was unable to move his eyes away from the painter. He could not understand why there was a Fan Yu behind the door when the Fan Yu outside the door was still alive. The two had different personalities and completely different abilities. It is really that child. The old headmaster recognized Fan Yu as well. Other than surprise, there was guilt on his face. Sir, are you sure the incident where Fan Yu was bullied at school had nothing to do with you? Chin Go pulled the headmaster to his side. I am the headmaster at Muyang High School. Anything that happened at the school had everything to do with me, so of course I am responsible if he was bullied at school. He did not understand Chin Go. I mean, did you do anything directly or indirectly to harm him? like you were too busy to care about him when he came to you for help. If he came to me, then this tragedy wouldn't have happened. The old headmaster looked at Fan Yu. He is a good kid. Since you have nothing to do with his bullying, then our plan is not affected. Chen Ji's eyes were firm. I will try my best to make you the headmaster here, to help you control the school's consciousness. You can see the situation for yourself. None of the people here can bring salvation and release to the students here, only you can. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every child has their own mind, and it's not easy to seek salvation. At least you can lead them on the right path and prevent them from more suffering, Chinga said seriously. There is no one more suitable, sir. You can treat this place as a second Muyang High School. All right, I will try. A bitter smile hung on the old headmaster's face. He was just a half-red specter, and his competition consisted solely of greater red specters. There are thirteen paintings in the art room. They represent thirteen people with the qualification to become the door pushers. We can ignore most of them. We only need to pay attention to the painter and Chang Wenyu. The plan had started when Chin Ge entered the school of the afterlife, and now it had reached the climax. What should we do next? The old headmaster asked nervously. We will find a safe place to hide for him. Since Chang Wenyu dared come for the school's consciousness, there's a great chance she has made some kind of deal with a monster in the Red City. 
When the school descends into chaos, we have to maintain our power. Chen Gui had the students that followed him stay together. They walked down the corridor to search for a safe place. The blood fog rushed at the school. The mirror covered the school and was trying hard to prevent the monsters from entering the school. However, the mirror was made up from the students' consciousness. When their spirit was broken, the collapse was only a matter of time. The mirror was something from the two campuses. As more people regained their lost memories, more negative emotions rushed in. Bloody handprints appeared on the wall between Western and Eastern campuses, and many strange things were happening. This is their real appearance. There is endless pain and despair behind every beautiful memory. Destiny is that fair and cruel. Ching Wenyu swung her legs back and forth, enjoying all this. Destiny? The painter slowly lifted his head. Do you know what color destiny is? I don't know, probably red, I like red. Chang Wenyu turned to look at the painter. From the way they spoke, those who did not know would assume that they were friends. Destiny is white in color. It will take on the color that you decide to paint on it. The painter's voice was calm. Therefore, you borrowed the power from the school's consciousness to change their memory? To retain the only good thing about their lives? How do you know that is what they want? Who gave you the right to change the things most valuable to others? The painter appeared to have tweaked Chang Wenyu's memory before. This should be one of the reasons behind their conflict. Do not assume you are the person most approved by the school and can make yourself out to be the school's god. Facing Chang Wenyu's interrogation, the painter did not deny it. He merely picked up the broken canvas. There is no god behind the door. Even if there is, it is just a devil who decided to perform an occasional kindness. When he said the last word, a horrible stench drifted out from the canvas. Chapter 884 Red The rooftop of the lab building was closest to the sky, it was somewhere you could touch the other world with your hand. The normal school had started to change. More students turned into blood vessels and ugly monsters. They wailed at the once quiet school. They, who had gotten used to the beauty, did not expect the pain that they had once been through. Every second the blood mirror loomed over the school, there would be more crumbling blood vessels. The memory that it contained would disappear, and the trace of its owner would be wiped away. Irreversible collapse was occurring on the two campuses. As the owner of these campuses, the painter was standing on the rooftop of the lab building. He picked up the canvas, and instantly, black-reddish blood appeared on it. You wish to kill me? Chang Wenyu dangled her legs at the edge of the building. You have gained the approval of half of the students at the school, but you have no control over the other half. If you kill me, the school's consciousness will be swallowed by that city. I have never killed anyone, but many have died because of me. I used this canvas to record their last moments and occasionally took it out to admire it. The painter gripped the edge of the canvas, and his pale fingers were covered in undried blood. He did not seem to care what Chang Wenyu said. He was talking to himself, saying what was on his mind. You have not killed any more? Chang Wenyu opened her arms and crossed her hands. You will always find excuses for your actions, that is what I hate most about you. The stench of blood thickened on the rooftop and Chang Wenyu stood up. Fire burned in her eyes. Do you know why I returned after successfully escaping from this place? The painter shook his head lightly. I saw the family of the students outside the door. They were guarding beside the unconscious students, waiting for them to come home. Chang Wenyu stood at the edge of the building. The reflection of the blood world was above her, and the crumbling campuses were below her. But I know that's impossible. The door has bound them. It looks like salvation, but in reality, it has only pushed them into deeper despair. The black hair was lifted by the bloody wind. Chang Wenyu's right eye was pulsing with a red light, and her hollow left eye socket had black blood leaking out from it. So, I returned. I can't save all the students here, but I can ruin the door and bury all of you with it. I do not wish for what happened to us to happen to anyone else. 
blood bloomed on her dress, and the expression on Chang Wenyu's face turned maddened. I will stop at nothing to destroy this place. But can you do it? After losing the school's approval, you will weaken. What you have learned at the school will be returned to it. The painter's voice was even like he was asking whether she had eaten her breakfast or not. I do not need the school's approval, as long as someone approves of me at the school. The atmosphere tensed. Chang Wenyu was prepared to fight the painter. It's a good thing to have your own persistence, but why would you attract the ghosts from the city? The painter looked past Chang Wenyu at the Red City beyond the school. Fighting for the school's approval to become the new door pusher is something between us. Why would you drag them into it, or are you still afraid of me? I know that you will not make the same mistake again, so I only have this chance. Before you become the new door pusher, I have to destroy this place. Destroying the school's door, attracting the ghosts from the Red City, contacting every Red Spectre who has once resisted me and has the qualification to become the door pusher, is that the entirety of your plan? The painter's finger nudged the canvas. Actually, I'm curious, how did you open the school's front gate? All the specters are limited by the school's consciousness. No one should be able to get close to the gate, that is one thing that I do not understand. Specters will be targeted, but the living will not. Chang Wenyu wiped away the blood that flowed out of her left eye. I've been looking for the door pusher's left eye, it has been hiding outside the door. I've waited so long for this day. After all, it was he who pushed open the door. Only his eye can trick the school's consciousness. So, I had a living person possess the door pusher's left eye and push open the door. Blood flowers were blossoming on Chang Wenyu's dress. This greater red specter was showing her true form. But probably because she was inside the campus, created by the painter, her power was limited. It's taken several years to build this heaven on top of a cemetery, but you have used several years to figure out a way to destroy everything. The painter sighed. Looks like I shan't have any hope in any of you. To focus on what I need to do, the only way is for all of you to shut up. Stop lying to yourself. No one will be able to create heaven. You are merely decorating hell. Chang Wenyu stood at the spot closest to the sky. Her dress had changed almost fully red. Painter, when I first met you, I knew that the school's consciousness would approve of you because, in this school, only you believe that it is not a cage of despair behind the door. But I did not anticipate the day when you would have control over almost everything. This time, the painter did not reply. His pale fingers were moving on the canvas. What are you doing? Only Chang Wenyu's heart had not turned red. I am painting. The painter raised the broken canvas. I like to paint how they look like before they die. On the broken canvas, there was a woman in a red dress. One of her eyes was ruby red while the other had been dug away, leaving behind a black hole. How do you think she wants to die? The painter used his bloody hand to pierce at the woman's heart in the painting. Chang Wenyu collapsed backward at the same time, laughing madly. Then, why do you think I came here to waste time with you? In the laughter, Chang Wenyu morphed into a blood flower. Her body collapsed into numerous blood vessels. The spot of her heart remained in the air, and the rest of her body was dyed red. You know my power, so you've hidden your heart away? The painter looked at the painted Chang Wenyu. She lost her body, but has wasted one of my paintings. The painter ignored the bloody dress in the air and turned to the front gate. In the blood fog, a new threat was approaching from the Red City. Chapter 885 My canvas broke a heart raced, and the sound of beating came from the chest. It was cold, painful, and hard to breathe. The mouth opened, and the smell of blood was solidly stuck in the throat. This is the memory I've lost? This is the taste of memory? Voices like this echoed around the school. Broken monsters came out from all corners of the school. Their eyes were filled with venom as they cried and roared. The mirror that loomed over the school had more cracks. As more students regained their memory, the mirror got more out of control. The mirror was made from the students' memories and consciousness. 
A human's negative emotion and forgotten memories became the ghost's power behind the door, and it was them who made up the school's consciousness, something that was beyond a red specter. The school's consciousness had been protecting the school, but that day, due to Chang Wenyu's betrayal and many other reasons, it suffered unprecedented damage. Everything has returned to the beginning. The painter held the broken canvas with one hand, and his other hand slowly rose to reach toward the crumbling blood-red mirror above him. My canvas broke. It did not feel good to have one's memory stolen. How innocent the students on the eastern campus had been was how ferocious they were now. Slowly, some of the blood vessels left the mirror, the buildings and the campuses became blurry, and the dream that the painter weed was slowly dispersing. The blood curtain dropped, and the inverted campuses were slowly overlapping. The point of overlap was the lab building where the painter was. He was standing in the middle point of the mirror world and real life, that was his current situation. The red world was filled with students who rejected him and the threat from the red city while the campuses from the mirror had students who slowly had their memories returned and were trying to find the culprit. Both worlds were pressing against the painter, but his expression did not change too much. If the canvas broke, I'll just get a new one. The world will never lack paint and canvases, just painters. When the blood mirror was about to crumble, the canvas that the painter was holding dissolved into dust. This appeared to be a signal, and blood leaked out from the buildings around the campuses. A monster with blinded eyes walked out from the eastern campus library, and a bloated carcass floated out of the man-made lake at western campus. One of the doors in the eastern campus male dormitory was pushed open. A small boy pulled off the nails pinned on the back of his arm. There was a student ID left next to him, and it had the name Lin Sisi. The last building was the trash collection center between the two campuses. One of the closed doors was opened by a monster crawling on the ground with four limbs. A horrible stench rushed out, and endless negative emotions crashed forward. The four buildings were like four supporting points. The mirror was still crumbling, but the four temporarily stopped the two worlds from recombining. It's pointless. The basis of the campuses is the school's consciousness. Once the mirror is attacked by the ghosts outside of the school, it will still collapse. Yin Hong looked at the mirror in the sky, and her eyes were scarily red. The school's consciousness can resist a greater red specter, and that is why the school of the afterlife hasn't been consumed by the red city. Now the two who have the biggest approval from the school have fallen out. The reality and dream are being cut into two, this place is over. Bang! The school's front gate was blasted open. Black vines appeared in the fog. They looked like plants or the limbs of zombies. Anyone who touched them would be dragged into the fog and disappeared. Chen Gu, shall we leave through the well? The school is now being targeted by the Red City, they probably won't expect there to be another exit in the school. It was not that the old headmaster was cowardly. However, this was a situation that a half-red specter like him could not change. The old headmaster was kind, but after experiencing so much, he was not blindly kind anymore. If we leave, this school will really be over. Chen Gu gritted his teeth and looked at the painter and Chang Wenyu's red dress on the rooftop. Everyone is saying their own thing. Who do you think opened the door? Chen Gu? The old headmaster noticed the strangeness in Chen Ji's tone. Are you all right? Of course, I'm all right. I am much better than I've ever been. Chen Gu narrowed his eyes, and his pupils shrunk. It's still the same. The scenario behind the door belongs to the door pusher, and the person who killed the door pusher will be the new owner here. The old headmaster did not know what Chen Gu meant. He knew that Chen Gu was one child that would always make people worry, so he did not think much of it, but he softly suggested, shall we head toward the well for now? Sure, with backup, things should be easier, Chen Gu said, his eyes fixated on the lab building. Many clues in my mind have been linked together. It is not an accident that I entered the school of the afterlife. I still have something to discuss with the person who's used me. Then, shall we move toward Muyang High School now? 
The old headmaster was afraid that Chen Gu might do something rash. He hoped that Chen Gu would be honest, but he soon realized how wrong he was. It's no problem to go there, but before that, I have to capture that person. Chen Gu pointed at Chang Gu, who was running at the field. The school's consciousness was collapsing. The painter was held back by Chang Wenyu, and Chang Gu, who had opened the gate, was rushing toward the education block with the doctor's help. The doctor had a wicked plan of his own as well. He had formed some kind of contract with Chang Wenyu, but he was worried about Chang Wenyu turning on him, so Chang Gu was his hostage. It's not good to meet them now, is it? I will leave after I'm done. I will try to avoid a direct conflict. Chenga had a reason he needed to capture Chang Gu. He could not tell anyone else about the real reason because the black phone was his biggest secret, and that secret was probably with Chang Wenyu now. Opening the comic, Chenga summoned all the red specters. Find a chance to strike. Anyone who blocks your way is our enemy. At the same time, Chang Gu and the doctor escaped back to the education block. As they planned, once they ran back to this place, harrowing cries came from the gate. The cries were louder than the wails of the students, and they drifted into everyone's ears. A figure appeared in the fog. She stood at the front gate, but she did not enter it. The fog that rolled into the school thickened, and more monsters were mixed in it. That was not all. Not long after, the sound of munching could be heard mixed in the crying, and a large shadow appeared next to the first figure. The fog blocked everything. The people in the buildings only saw a rough outline, but just from that, it was enough to strike fear and helplessness in their hearts. Chapter 886, Third That is the thing from the Red City? Using thing to refer to someone whom he had just met was very impolite, but after meeting Dr. Gao, who had entered the Red City, he no longer viewed the monsters from the city as people that he could communicate with. Crying and munching echoed in many people's ears. Before seeing them in person, many students were already afraid. Chen Gu, this is not good, the school's consciousness is split. These students won't hold on for too long. In Hong knew the school very well. The door attracted the spirits and souls of despairing children. Some of them are wandering souls, while others have their physical bodies in real life, only their spirit is trapped behind the door. Those students are very weak, and they are the basis and foundation of the school. Chen Gu understood what In Hong meant. The foundation of the school was actually very weak. It was simply not noticeable normally, but now that there was this chaos, the school's consciousness had revealed its own weakness revealed. That would attract more monsters. After all, the school's consciousness is a greater red specter. There are many things we do not understand about that. We can't underestimate the red city, but that doesn't mean we should underestimate the school's consciousness. A top red specter was already very scary, much less a greater red specter. He felt like even though the school's consciousness had collapsed due to the internal fighting between the painter and Chang Wenyu, there was still something that it had held back. The doors managed to grow to such a size without a door pusher, so it won't have placed all its hope on the children. Bai Chiolin was always in support of Chen Gu. It was not that he did not want to help the students, but from his perspective, other than his fellow employees, any other people there could turn out to be an enemy, so there was no reason to risk their lives for those people. But. We have to find Chang Gu first. We'll discuss the rest later. Chen Gu had Su Ying guard beside him as everyone headed toward the education block where Chang Gu and the doctor were. To hold the painter back, Chang Wenyu has paid a heavy price. Even though her heart is still there, she will need some time to recover to her prime form. This is my chance. Red fog rolled into the school. The black plants that looked like dried arms crawled into the buildings through the broken windows. The school looked like a heart with shriveled capillaries. The students ran for their lives down the corridors. The students who hid in the classrooms were not doing so well either. The black things knocked against the windows, and more cracks appeared on the glass. If you do not wish to die, come with me. Chen Gu saved as many students as he could. 
lingering spirits and specters wailed around the school. The sanctuary that had once provided a haven for ghosts now turned into a cage, covered in briar. With three red specters opening the path, Chin Ji's group reached the first floor of education block in record time. The blood fog rushed in from the broken gate, and the thickness was even heavier there. Found them. At the turn in the corridor to the nurse's office, In Hong stopped the doctor and Chang Gu. With blood in his left eye, Chang Gu was covered in blood and had only one last breath left. A living person has opened the door. Even if he does not die, he will be in serious trouble. Chen Gu stared at Chang Gu in the doctor's arms. Leave us Chang Wenyu's brother and go. Chen Gu did not dawdle and specified his reason for being there. Are you guys the other Trump card she's prepared? The doctor was fully red. He had resisted the attack from the school, and he was not in a good condition. If you are not willing to go, you can stay as well. Chen Ji's stance was clear, he would stop at nothing to have Chang Gu. Don't mind me. I hope Chang Wenyu can fulfill her promise. Doctor dropped Chang Gu on the floor, but his eyes wandered to Bai Chilin, who was standing behind Chen Gu. The mirror that your friend is carrying looks very familiar. Do you want to take a look at it? Nah, I just want to remind you, there is a mirror just like that in the last room of the nurse's office. There is a demon trapped inside that mirror. He is filled with lies and is very scary. He is a madman that escaped from a certain hospital. The doctor slowly retreated. If you do not want anyone around you to be harmed, it is best to not believe anything he says. The doctor was referring to the non-smiler inside the mirror. After he said his piece, he disappeared down the corridor. Such a dangerous character. Seeing the doctor depart, In Hong sighed in relief. She did not wish to fight the doctor. As one of the earliest students at the school, she was familiar with how scary the doctor was. The man made you feel unsafe? Chinga realized the problem with the doctor too. When he got close, Suin and the headless woman had both stopped him. Who can guarantee they won't be sick forever? Plus, he is the school's only doctor. In Hong seemed to be hinting at something. Who is this man? He is still alive after opening the school gate. He is one of my friends. Chen Gu squatted down before Chang Gu. I have done everything you siblings asked me to. Now, can you tell me where Chang Wenyu is? The dying Chang Gu saw Chen Gu. He opened his lips, but nothing came out. Black blood leaked out from his lips. His body temperature was scarily low. Using all the energy he had left, he only managed to raise his hand to point at the painter behind the mirror. She hit her heart in the campuses, constructed by the painter? When Chang Gu heard Chen Gu, he shook his head and kept pointing at the painter. Only the painter knows? Or? Chen Ji's eyes twitched. She hit her heart on the painter? Chang Gu still shook his head and his finger was on the painter until he lost consciousness. Boss, what should we do now? Bai Chilin looked at Chang Gu on the ground and hesitated. He worried that Chen Gu might do something dangerous. We will go back to Muyang High School to ensure that the well is working fine, and then we'll wait. Chen Gu gripped his fists. Now is not the most dangerous hour, there is no hurry to leave. As Chin Ji's group retreated to Muyang High School, the crying and munching from the gate disappeared. A third figure appeared in the fog. From afar, there was nothing special about him, but this last figure stood between the other two. There is really an ownerless door. The man's coarse voice appeared from the gate. When he spoke, even the wind stopped blowing, and everyone at the school could hear him clearly. After watching it for some time, the man took a step into the school of the afterlife. Once he took that first step, it was as if some kind of seal had been broken. The gate slammed against the wall. The man moved into the school. Many harried screams appeared, and the blood mirror that corresponded with the front gate collapsed at an incredible speed. Chapter 887 You can call me painter, the students in the school ran like crazy, but where could they run? 
hiding was merely delaying the final ending. The monsters from the Red City did not need the school's consciousness, so everything was nutrients for them to consume. The school gate slammed against the walls, which collapsed under the weight of the briars. The man's left foot stepped into the school, and the blood fog pulled behind him like a wave. This is much simpler than anticipated. Fog covered his entire body so that only a blurry figure could be seen. His head slowly moved before turning to look at the blood mirror above his head. Every specter behind the door is creating hell, only you would create a heaven. There was a trace of mockery in the man's voice. But if you'd seen true heaven, you wouldn't be abandoned behind the door. He raised his feet and continued forward. There was no one in the school who dared stop him, be it the specters collected by the school or the red specters born at the school. More cracks appeared on the mirror in the sky, and the buildings in the mirror kept crumbling. Lynn Cece's group could not hold on any longer. Looks like there is no need to keep holding on. The painter stood on the roof of the lab building. He looked at the crumbling campuses and lifted his hand. One of his fingertips touched the sky. It was a mirror, a mirror made from endless memories and consciousnesses. This is not heaven. This is merely a painting, a painting that I haven't named. The fingertip phased through the mirror, and blood vessels rushed toward the painter. When his finger extended through the mirror, it was stained with blood. Since this painting is ruined, I'll just draw a new one. I need a new canvas and new paint. His body passed through the mirror, and his shirt was dyed fully red. The painter on the campuses was as quiet as the ocean, calm and silent, but the painter who passed through the mirror gave off another feeling. It was hard to describe. His every move pushed people away. After the painter left the mirror world, the mirror in the sky started to peel in large flakes like it was raining blood. Have you given up? The person in the blood fog did not rush forward. He lifted his head to the sky like he was trying to sniff something out. The painter on the rooftop had disappeared, but every mirror that fell from the sky was reflecting his image. When the first mirror landed on the ground, it shattered into small vessels that eventually coagulated into the shape of the painter. He stood alone in the field before the school. The blood fog curled around his body, and black briars grew around him, but he did not evade like the other specters. The school's consciousness has split, and you have personally ruined your last hope. Chong Wenyu is seriously injured. How do you expect to stop a whole city alone? The man in the fog stopped moving. You could have learned from Chong Wenyu and run from this place. I know there has to be other exits inside the school. Exit? The painter's shirt was dyed red. The blood vessels weaved around his body, covering his heart. You are standing at the exit, aren't you? The broken mirror fell on the painter's body, cutting out wounds. The distance between the sky and the ground seemed so short that there was only a person between them. I am the specter that is feared by everyone at this school, so when everyone is afraid, I will stand at the forefront. He opened his arms, and many arms weaved from blood shot out from behind him. They pushed back the fog and lifted the mirror above him. Come at once, I will use your blood to finish my new painting. Without saying anything else, the painter who held up the sky rushed at the gate. Countless consciousnesses were screaming alongside the painting. The mirrored world was howling, and endless negative emotions drained into the painter's body like a waterfall. I do not like how I look now, but who in this world will ever love themselves? Cruel faces appeared on the painter's body. They tore at him, injecting their pain and hatred into his body. Who's never absorbed nutrients at a grave? Who's never grown from flesh? I have seen plenty of hells, and because of that, I have to find heaven. Black trails appeared on the red shirt. The faces munched on the red specter's body. Each wound was nurturing a deep despair, and faces grew out from every wound. What kind of power is this? How come it's different from what Chang Wen you said? The man's voice changed. Things went out of his expectations. You painted the dead people on your own body? You can obtain their power? 
no, you are suffering their pain and despair. They are consuming your body. There was no answer to his question, the painter had already charged into the blood fog. I only want that ownerless door. Why do you have to stop me? The man in the fog waved his arms, and the two figures beside him stepped forward. Wherever the painter passed, the fog would roll back, and thus, the two monsters from the Red City showed their true form. One of them was wearing a goat mask. She had a perfect body, and her skin was painted in red lines. She looked so weak, and tears flowed out of her mask. The woman did not seem to have her own face, and the mask had become part of her. The other monster was large. It was like the combination of a human and a boar. He was walking on four legs and looked roughly human. He had a boar mask on. The scariest thing was that the man's body was split open by a mouth about one meter long, and the mouth was filled with sharp teeth. Kindness and evil, hold him back. I will go look for that door. The man was confident in the two monsters, but before he started to move, the woman in the goat mask suddenly stopped crying, and the tears turned into blood tears. Kindness? The man turned back to look and saw the woman being exposed before the painter. Her goat mask was slowly being removed, and her head fell down, her body with it. Kindness. The blood fog rushed in from all sides to protect evil. The man ensured that he would not be seen by the painter before coming to get kindness, but it was already too late. I do not like kindness because my kindness has never been treated kindly before. The painter peeled off a piece of skin near his heart. It had the goat head woman painted on it. Now there are two left. Chapter 888, Black the man in the fog did not expect that the underling he valued the most would be killed with one glance. He thought back to what Chong Wenyu had said. The painter had a very scary power, by giving up a certain sacrifice, he could draw the people or ghosts that he saw into his painting and take everything away from them. There was huge limitation to this power, but Chong Wenyu did not tell him what the limitation was. She did, however, tell him that the painter could only use this power three times in a short amount of time. In other words, he could only paint three people. Kindness soul didn't disappear. She only had something taken away from her. The man checked the condition of the woman with the goat's mask. He knew very well that after a red specter's soul was destroyed, there would be nothing left, but kindness body had remained. If Chang Wenyu wasn't lying, then there is nothing to be afraid of since the painter can only use this power thrice. The man put down kindness body. To stop the painter, Chang Wenyu has wasted one time of the painter's power, so now he only has one chance left. The fog blocked the visibility. The leading man hid in the fog and did not show his face. This is a scary power, but it is useless since we have the advantage in numbers. When he completes the third painting, it is the time for him to die. The fog that surrounded evil slowly dispersed. The leading man practically gifted evil to the painter. For him, using evil's life to trade for a painting was valuable. When I open the ownerless door and become something greater than a red specter, I will find the thing that you have lost and help you recover. The man said these things to evil. After hearing that, the boar man creature charged at the painter like crazy. Blood fog tremored. Black liquid came out of evil's mouth. Unlike kindness, there was nothing that was likable about this monster. The painter's special power is very strong, but the man himself isn't that strong. Evil is his natural enemy. If only kindness was here. With kindness help, they would hold even a red specter back for a while. The man appeared like he could control the fog behind the door. Just this power made him quite mysterious. Unfortunately, he probably saw this problem, so he chose to waste one painting to deliver a heavy blow to kindness. Blood fog gathered around him. The man was like the eye of the storm. He gathered all the fog before entering the school. Black plants grew underneath him, and the man and evil headed toward the education block from two different directions. The man purposely avoided the painter, but to his surprise, 
the painter whose body was changing moved to stand between him and evil. You think you can take on the two of us at once? The man in the fog was very strong. Until now, he had not shown his face. His identity and power were a mystery. If he had not been worried about the painter's power, this battle might have ended already. The painter used his actions to prove everything. The arms behind him bulged with black capillaries under the influence of negative emotions, the painter's presence was getting stronger. He wanted to collect the entire school's consciousness, to turn the negative emotions of all the students into his weapon. There was a magical power in people's emotions. Spectres were born because of this, and doors were formed because of this. A red specter can only support a limited amount of negative emotions. Without getting the door's approval, you won't be able to support the entire school's negative emotions. You will lose your mind and explode. The man in the fog waved his hand again, and more shadows appeared outside the school. There are plenty of monsters in the city. They are mad and twisted. They have their eyes on this school. So what if you can stop me and evil? As long as you are held back, the school's consciousness will be consumed by them, and the more consciousness that disappears, the weaker you will be. The man in the fog did not want to fight, but the painter did not give him the chance. Bang! A large mirror fragment above them broke, and an arm behind the painter grabbed the broken mirror and stabbed at evil. When the mirror peeled off, it instantly turned into screaming consciousness. It became the blade in the painter's hand and cut open a blood glow in the air. The mirror cut through evil and tore open the boar mask and evil's large mouth. However, just as the mirror was about to cut through the body, a sound came out from evil's mouth. Many small teeth bit on the mirror. Black liquid dropped on the mirror. The mirror formed by the student's memory shattered, and the lingering spirits of the students were swallowed by the giant mouth. Greed is one of the forms of evil. It can consume many things, and the more it consumes, the stronger it becomes. The giant mouth was rapidly recovering. It consumed the mirror and then bit at the painter's arm. He wants to consume me as well? The mirror in the sky was already in pieces. The buildings turned blurry. Only four places were not affected. The painter's hands reached toward one of these places, the trash collection center. True evil is not ugliness or lack in human nature, but an innocence without purpose. Pure evil is the darkness on my canvas. It has no thought. It is cold and dark simply because it is black. The arm grabbed the trash collection center in the mirror. The monster with four limbs on the ground destroyed the door of the last room and then ran away in a hurry. The mirror broke. One of the support points had been destroyed. The sin collected by the campuses rushed into the painter's body. Using his body as medium, he transferred the sin and curse into evil's mouth. The sinning souls were cursing. They did not expect their final destination to be an ugly mouth. The screaming, pleading, cursing, and begging did not change the painter's mind. I am the painter, I need white, and I need black. To complete the final painting, either color will suffice. Evil's body became bloated, and the painter's expression was getting uglier. The calm on his face slowly disappeared. He had personally trapped the sin in the last room of the trash collection center. It was trash that could not be reused, the darkest part of the human heart. If you want to eat, then I will prepare a feast for you. Chapter 889 Let me paint for you even behind the door, there were not many specters as mad as the painter. He was different from the other monsters, he could not be judged by conventional standard of good and evil. No one could tell what he was thinking, and no one could predict what he could do next, but one thing was for sure, this red specter was very scary. He would stop at nothing to reach his goal. He did not care about what other people thought, and he was not bound by morality. He did everything according to his own rules. This kind of person was very scary and the man in the fog knew that. Wind with the smell of blood swept across the sky, and screams echoed around the school. Be it the painter or evil, no one had surrendered. 
Evil bit the painter's arm, his stomach bulging. Blood vessels appeared on Evil's face, and his body started to become uneven. The painter was not looking very well either. He turned his body into a medium as he poured the sin that had gathered on the campuses into Evil's mouth. He wished to fill Evil up to its death and clear away the school's sin at the same time. That was a good idea, but the problem was that he had to be the medium. The sin would have to enter the painter's body before being poured into Evil's lips. This was a battle of determination. The first who crumbled would have a worse ending. Black capillaries appeared on the face, and they crawled around like little venomous snake. They pulsed like they could burst at any moment. Even under such circumstances, the painter turned to the man in the fog. Due to the layer of fog, the man knew that the painter could not take a good look at him, but he still wavered slightly. He was fearful of the painter's power. Are the dirty things in the city all like you? The painter's expression was scary. Savage was not enough to describe it anymore. You only know how to hide inside the fog. Do you not even have the courage to face me? You have become more chatty. It means that you have weakened. The man in the fog did not care about what the painter said. He controlled the fog to wrap around him. I only need the door. You will never find that door. Even if it was before you now, you wouldn't be able to see it. The painter appeared to say that to maintain his own rationality. His face had completely twisted, and he was scarier than any monster that he had painted. Endless sin and negative emotion rushed into his body. The pain that every student had experienced appeared in his mind. There were many things that could pierce one's heart. It could be a single sentence or a single event. Either way, they jabbed one's heart like needles. One could be smiling, but as long as the heart was still beating, the wound would be torn open, bleeding black blood. It was not hard to remove the needles, but even so, an ugly wound would remain. The deeper the pain, the deeper the wound. The painter could not undo the wound in everyone's heart, he could only first remove the needles and then wipe away the memories that were related to them. If they did not think about it, the pain would not come. That was how the painter helped the students on the campuses, he left them with good memories and transferred the needles that represented pain to the trash collection center. The harsher the pain, the deeper they were buried. These needles would not disappear even after their owner had forgotten about them. After all, they were part of one's memory. One's life was only complete with pain and sadness. The painter had lacked a way to deal with such trash until the appearance of evil. I have been doing something wrong. It is not that there is no sin in heaven, with the sun, there is bound to be shadow. Perhaps I can build a heaven in darkness, the painter mumbled of himself, like only by thinking that would he not lose himself. He was at the edge of a breakdown. When Dr. Gao suffered all the sin behind a three-star scenario, he also almost broke down even if he was a top red specter. Currently, the painter was dealing with the sin from a four-star scenario. It had not been easy for him to have held on until now. This was a battle of conviction. The painter was at the edge of madness, and things were not going well for evil. He could consume negative emotions, but he needed time to process them. He had never experienced something like this before. Before the painter, no one would spend several years to collect the sins from a four-star scenario. Evil had a huge appetite but even he could not swallow the sins of an entire school. The monster from the Red City had underestimated the school of the afterlife. Even though there was no presence of something beyond a red specter there, this was a scenario that was deemed four-star by the black phone. Sin poured into evil like a black waterfall. Time lost all meaning behind the door. After who knew how long, evil's body started to change. His boar mask was stuffed and his body grew for several times its original size. The mouth is the not the ending. If you want to have freedom, fight for it. Expand and make it burst, then you will have everything you want. The painter knew what he had trapped at the trash collection center, it was the darkest side of the school. The pressure that evil was under was much bigger than the painter, and he had no time to take a breath. Before he could digest the sin in his stomach, 
more evil spirits, crawled into his throat. The pupils in the boar mask darted with anxiety, a horrible noise came out from his throat, like someone who loved fish had a fish bone stuck in his throat. The man in the fog had a bad feeling. He needed to do something to help evil by some time. You are an anomaly behind the door. The man finally made his move. The blood fog turned into a storm, and the man stood in the middle. Let me tell you how idiotic it is to build a heaven behind the door. Once the man made his move, the painter reacted. The other arm behind him reached toward Lin Cece's dormitory building. On the side of the mirror, Lin Cece appeared like he knew this day would come. He turned to look at his bedroom before swiftly leaving. The arm cracked through the window, and the second support point was broken. The mirror pieces made from dreams and memories shattered and fell, each of them showing the painter's reflection. His body was cut by the sharp pieces. The arms that reached out from the wounds were stained black, and they waved lazily, every mirror, here is my eyes. If I see you, I will take everything away from you. The painter was not afraid of anyone. His madness was far beyond everyone's expectations. The arms grabbed evil and pierced into his body. The painter did not care about the man in the fog, but focused on pushing all the sin into evil's body. The black waterfall roared, and after evil's body expanded to its maximum capacity, it exploded. Many evil spirits crawled out from the body, and the whole school was covered in negative emotions. Pressured, the painter who was covered in black blood abandoned evil's carcass, standing in the middle of the school. I have ruined kindness and abandoned evil, now you are the only one left. Come, let me paint for you. Chapter 890 I can see you, the broken mirrors fell like heavy rain, and above them, the sky was missing. The blood fog pulled around them, and underneath them was black briar. Behind them was the school of the afterlife, and before them was the red city. All the scenarios that were only visible in nightmares turned into reality behind the door. The end of the world was not enough to describe the tragedy at the school, perhaps this was what hell looked like. Evil's body grew until it burst, and many evil spirits ran out from its stomach before circling around the school. They cursed the remaining specters and everything that they saw. The heaven that was constructed by the painter had completely crumbled. The sins that were buried in the trash collection center regained their freedom, and the thing buried in the deepest part of each people's heart gained release. Their cursing and joy told others, with their actions, how far could the sins in people's hearts went. They were once things that the painter tried to deny, but now they were personally let out by the painter. They took revenge on any specters and people that they met, be it the students or outsiders. The monsters that came from the city were dangerous, but the most dangerous party had been neutralized by the painter. He had used his special power to destroy kindness and the negative emotions that had been collected over the years to incapacitate evil. Only one enemy remained. The arms were connected to the blood mirror. The painter possessed the approval of half of the students, and it was the reason why he was able to hold on until now. As long as the painter did not step out from the school, he would possess incredibly powerful abilities. This was possible for Chang Wenyu as well. Because the painter knew that, he had been trying to kill her. Dangers were everywhere behind the door, and the smallest mistake could cause one's soul to disappear. The man in the fog had underestimated the painter, and that was why he had lost his advantage. Kindness and evil had lost, but the man in the fog did not surrender, this was a chance that he could not miss. He had been able to reach the school in such a short amount of time, which meant that he was living in the area that was close to the school. There were monsters that were several times scarier than he was. If he was unable to take down the school, once it attracted the attention of the other monster in the city, the door might be taken away by some other people. The storm formed by the blood fog was slowly approaching. The wounded painter looked at the center of the storm silently. His eyes were slowly changing. Blood vessels pulled on his pupils, and his dark pupils were slowly dissolving, leaving behind only black eyes. Do you think I won't be able to see you if you're hiding? 
Every mirror that fell from the sky had the painter's reflection on it, and his black eyes were staring in a certain direction. The storm was approaching, but the painter did not go into hiding. He had no idea what the enemy's power was, and he did not know how the enemy would attack. In such circumstances, the best defense was to keep attacking, to pressure the enemy so that they would not have the time to use their power. The painter did not defend, he was trying to look for a chance, but the man in the fog did not give him any opportunity. The mirrors that fell from the sky were unable to reach him. If he could not see the target, he could not paint them, which should be one of the painter's weaknesses. Your power comes from the school's consciousness. When you fought evil, you were borrowing power from the mirror in the sky. Your power comes from that place, looks like the thing that I'm looking for is also there. The man in the fog was extremely cunning. He had not shown himself while gathering more and more information in the darkness. He would only make his move when he had full confidence. The storm touched the mirror in the sky. The man did not fight the painter head on, instead, he hid behind the storm to look for the door. You are very clever yet also very stupid, your greed is far beyond your ability. The painter moved the arms on his back and the broken arm that had been bitten by evil earlier reached toward the mirror. This time, his arm reached toward the man-made lake on the western campus. The dead body floating on the surface was facing down, but when the painter's arm phased through the mirror and reached into the water, the body turned around to show its face. The face shocked everyone because it was completely identical to Fanyu. Everyone's mirror is floating in the sea of mind. That lake is the sea of memories at the school. It is filled with all the students' memories, including the thing that I have forgotten. The painter had a similar face to Fanyu, but due to their different presence, no one would put them together. The arm that had been bitten by evil earlier grabbed at the body in the lake. The painter paused before slowly tightening his fingers. The body dissolved into blood in the painter's palm, and the blood dripped into the lake. The memory was unlocked, and the normal lake turned into something else. First, there were ripples, and then it turned murky. Red bubbles appeared on the surface, and the lake was slowly turning red. Since this is my painting, I shall destroy it myself. The painter's arm yanked back, and the mirror burst. The bloody lake water leaked out. Many voices rang in the school. The memories seemed to come alive, and the distance between the sky and the ground was their whole life. In this short amount of time, the past turned into heavy rain, passing through the storm, covering the entire school. The painter had stolen everyone's memories, and now he was personally returning the memories to them. The students at the school remembered many things that they had lost. Those boring moments from they were alive turned into memories that could not be cut off after death. After all, it was those normal moments that formed the different version of oneself. The blood on the surface of the mirror started to peel off again. The student's conviction was shaken. The mirror shook, and there were three relatively stable places left on the campuses. One was the lab building where the painter was, the other was the library where the blind person was, and the last place was the broken education block on the eastern campus. Lin Sisi and the four-legged monster had both run to the library. There was no one at the education block on the eastern campus, but that place was not affected. That was not normal. The door is hidden in the education block? The man in the fog headed toward it immediately. This time, the painter did not stop him. The rain of memories dropped in the blood storm. No one noticed this, but the painter, every drop of rain was reflecting pain. His dark eyes looked right at the middle of the storm, and the wounded lips slowly opened to say, I can see you. Chapter 891, Several Red Spectres, The Sea of Memories Washed About Every raindrop was the painter's eye. Combined with the painter's special power, he had absolute advantage in the school of the afterlife. No wonder even Chang Wenyu did not dare tackle the painter head-on. The man in the fog hurried quickly toward the education block in the mirror. The painter stood where he was. He stared at the eye of the storm, and the black arms that reached out from his wounds extended, forming a piece of perfect skin on his chest. 
The battle earlier had been so intense, but the painter had used all of the arms to shield this part of his body, he had hidden that secret from many people. This was the only part of his body that was not injured. This went to show the intensity of the battle between red specters. The man hiding in the storm easily came to the mirror. With no one stopping him, things went a bit too smoothly. He felt a trace of anxiety in his heart. He turned back to look and saw the painter removing the last piece of canvas from his body. Has he seen me? The seed of anxiety grew in his heart, and it soon grew to crawl over his entire body. The moment the canvas was torn out, the man's body swiftly turned into a shadow. He was like a nightmare. There was no definite shape, and he looked different to different people. The painter's bloody hand dangled over the canvas. His black eyes stared ahead, and he did not start to paint for a long time. You are not a ghost? The heavy rain continued to fall. The painter's eyes seemed to see something, and he said something weird from his lips. When he said that, the man in the center of the storm became more desperate. He stopped maintaining the form of a living person and completely melted into the storm. He raised the blood fog and used the most brutal method to rush at the surface of the mirror. When the painter saw that, he knew that the man had guessed the location of the door. You are wearing a mask and using another person's body, what exactly's hiding under your skin? The painter's eyes turned completely dark. The white of his eyes disappeared fully, and he looked scary. Things had gotten out of control. No one knew what the painter saw that he was so shocked. Endless blood fog drifted out from the Red City, that was the source of the fog. The man's power had everything to do with the fog. Of course, that could be how he hid his real identity, so he was only using this power. The fog on the ground rumbled, and the memories in the sky rained. A storm ravaged the school. Everyone was dragged into it, and there was no place to hide. As the mirror in the sky kept collapsing, the school itself was affected. The stain on the walls lightened, the windows were shattered, the doors were brutally shoved open, endless students found their lost memories, and they were consumed by the storm of confusion and bitterness. With their memory awakened, to save themselves, more and more students chose to join Chen Ge and a few of them were red specters. In the blood storm, the school was shaking. Other than top red specters, no one could guarantee that they would be safe. It was dangerous to be in the school alone, only by gathering together and combining their strength would they have a higher chance of survival. Other than Chen Ji's group, there were a few places where many students were gathered. One was the lab building. It was the tallest building in the school, dominated by the seniors. They had deep-colored uniforms and could be seen at the native residence of the school. Some of them might have been living there when the door pusher opened the door. In terms of power, they might not be the first, but in terms of familiarity with the school, they were the best. The other place with many students was the center of the school. That was the place where most students were. With the help of the teachers, they were barely hanging on. The third part was the northern part of the school. Chenga had not explored that place before. It mainly consisted of classrooms and some strange buildings of unknown uses. It was worth noting that there were several red specters gathered there, and some of them were Chen Ji's old friends like Zhu Long, Zhou Tu, Wang Yicheng, and Zhang Zhu. The four of them had been led there by Chen Gu from the campuses. After they split up at the library, they had not seen each other. Chen Gu had no idea why they would gather at the northern side of the school. Currently, all four of them were injured, and that was probably because they were trying to protect the students who were following them. At this juncture, any student would be able to give them power. Everyone used their body to resist the storm, but as red specters, they were under the most pressure. The blood fog carried with it monsters that attacked the students, and the students moved to gather at those few placed. Chen Ji's group saw this when they were leaving Muyang High School. The storm was insane, and each red specter was like a lighthouse. The red made people cautious, but at the same time, it gave people hope. They are all on the northern side? The conflict was endless. 
Chen Gu used Ying Yang Vision and saw Zhu Long and Zhang Zhu, who were in battle. Zhou Tu and Wang Yicheng were dying. Only the other two red specters were fighting the onslaught, so the situation was not positive. Sir, I'm afraid we can't leave just yet. Chen Gu looked at the northern side of the school. Zhang Zhu and the rest were the members of Chen Ji's Supernatural Observation Club. Even though Chen Gu had created this club randomly, the members did not know that. I have to meet up with the few red specters on the north side. They are my friends. The old headmaster saw the children being consumed by the blood fog, and he felt so bad. Even if Chen Gu did not say it, he wanted to help more people, but he was powerless. Now that Chen Gu had volunteered to go and save people, the old headmaster agreed without hesitation. Okay, I will go with you. The school of the afterlife is a four-star scenario. Things have gotten to this stage, but the door still hasn't shown up. It means that this is the not the worst situation. We need to move now. With the addition of those red specters, we'll be stronger. Chen Gu did not trust anyone, but he had personally led Zhang Zhu and the rest from the campuses and knew about their history. You two need to calm down. If we go there now, many people will die. I can feel something in the city awakening. If we do not leave before it awakens, it will be too late. In Hong did not care about others, she only cared about herself and the people who loved her. Next to her, Suin nodded. His body was wounded as his eyes stared at the Red City. We should have enough time. No one knew how things would develop, but Chen Gu did not hesitate. The earlier we move, the better. The group turned around. When they passed the female dormitory, Chen Gu entered it to grab Zhang Ye's present box and the bag of candy. He had to prepare for the worst. If he was forced to leave the school, he would take care of Zhang Ye's items, he would not leave them behind at the school. Chapter 892 Black Blood at the School of the Afterlife Everyone had their own aims and would make different choices for their own target and benefit. When tragedy struck, Chang Wenyu disappeared, the painter fought the monsters from the Red City, the top red specters did not have time to care about others, and that gave Chen Gu the perfect chance. However, danger came along with this chance. Yin Hong and Su Yin felt something awakening in the Red City. If they did not leave in a short amount of time, when more monsters came from the Red City and the school was sealed, the well might be discovered. Quick! To reach the northern side of the school, they had to pass through the center of the school. That was where all the staff and teachers of the school were gathered, and that included Mr. Lei, whom Chen Gu had met before. Everyone, do not panic. Stay in your room. Mr. Lei and the other teachers tried their best to maintain the order. Actually, they were happy when they saw Chen Gu. In this kind of chaotic situation, they would welcome powerful people to join them. You have arrived. I'll leave the few classrooms on the western side to you. If all of us work together, we will be able to survive. Before the teacher could finish, he saw Chen Gu and the other red specters walk past him, heading toward the northern side of the school. Hey, where are you going? Do not waste your energy blindly. Relying on the school's original defense is the best solution. Mr. Lei's voice was harsh. Even though he looked down on Chen Gu, he was saying this for Chen Ji's own good. I have to go and save the others. Chen Ji's eyes scanned the students in the classroom. My friends are on the northern side of the school. I cannot watch and allow them to be consumed by the fog. Have you lost your mind? There are who knows how many monsters in the school now. Even if there are red specters among you, you will be surrounded. They are not afraid of red specters. The teacher next to Mr. Lei tried his best to stop them. They did not want Chen Gu to leave. From their perspective, that was too risky and unnecessary. I know it is dangerous. Chen Ji's eyes swept the classroom and the students inside looked back at him. They were curious what kind of person would choose to go and save others in this situation. But that is the difference between you and me. Then, Chen Gu did not stay any longer. 
If you want to, you can follow behind me. If you don't want to, I won't force you. Wait here, and we will meet up at the center of the school. After leaving behind the group of weaker students, Chen Ji's group moved faster. Seeing them walk away, the few teachers showed complicated emotions. What are you guys standing there for? Is now the time for you to be spacing out? Mr. Lei roared at the teachers and then continued to repair the windows. With the rush of the blood fog, no one was safe. Everyone was a boat that might tip over any time soon, and saving oneself was nothing to be ashamed of. Cutting through the school was much more difficult than Chen Gu had anticipated. The blood fog caused low visibility, and due to various reasons, the corridors inside the school seemed to have changed. Seen from the field, Muyang High School appeared close to the northern side of school, but one actually had to travel a long distance to get there. All the Red Spectre were wounded, but it was still within an acceptable range. Through this experience, the employees of the haunted house grew stronger, especially Bai Chilin and the boy with the stench. After Bai Chilin consumed Xiong Qing's heart, even though he had turned into a Red Spectre, he was slightly weaker than Su Yin, who had found his heart. However, through this endless slaughter, things changed. From Liwan City to the School of the Afterlife, Chen Gu had given him plenty of chances to train, and Ou Bai was no longer the same old gambler. The other employee who gave Chen Gu a surprise was the boy with the bad smell. After he found his red specter's body, he showed his extremely dangerous side. His power was related to the stench. Without a reminder from Chen Gu, he stayed at the back of the group and blocked down all the monsters that tried to ambush them from behind, and it looked like this posed no trouble for him. The boy seemed to have retained his memory at the haunted house. He was friendly with Chen Gu and the other employees, but showed annoyance at the residents of the school, like he had experienced something very harrowing there. With the red specters leading the way, Chen Ji's group moved extremely fast. After some turns, they arrived at the northern side of school. There, they saw another monster from the fog. It was about five meters tall and crawled all over the corridor. Its body was covered with tongues, and the disgusting thing was that each mouth was filled with human teeth. They looked scary. What are these? No one had seen them before. The monster was like something that came out from a child's nightmare. Its body was heavily twisted. It had the appearance of a human, but it could not be called a human. If it dares stand in our way, kill it. Chenga had nothing to worry about. He did not care as long as it was not a top red specter. Su Yin, the headless woman, and In Hong walked at the front. They worked together to kill the monster. It ended with a horrible death. The red specters had not seen this monster before, so they were cautious. They tore it into pieces and then used blood vessels to pierce through every inch of its flesh. After the monster died, its body turned into dry blood capillaries. It was worth noting that even so, its heart was still beating. The heart was much smaller than a normal human heart, and it had strange patterns on it. Su Yin removed the heart and passed it to Chen Go like it was very useful to specters. Seeing the hunger in the red specter's eyes, Chen Go thought about it and handed it back to Su Yin. This is yours. If we encounter another one, you should discuss among yourselves how to share it. Su Yin grabbed the strange heart, and excitement crossed his eyes. His pale fingers peeled open the heart, and inside was a drop of black blood that had not congealed. After sucking the blood, Su Yin's wounds started to heal, and his body turned more real and scary. When he saw that black blood, Chen Gu thought it looked familiar. He believed that he had seen it once in the base of the Ghost Stories Society. It had been kept inside a wooden box and the box had been taken away by Zhang Ye. After consuming the black blood, Zhang Ye had fallen into hibernation for a while. The Ghost Stories Society once hunted this kind of monster? They have entered the Red City before? As the only member of the society, Chin Ge had many things that he did not understand. These secrets should be in Dr. Gao's mind, but the man had gone insane, and there was no telling if he would ever snap out of it. If there's a chance, I should return to the society's old lair. 
Perhaps I might find some good things that I missed before. Chapter 893 Big thing is about to happen after the decision had been made, Chin Gu stopped thinking about it. He led the red specters toward the northern side of the school. The red city was dangerous, but danger always came with opportunity. There were many things that were helpful to red specters in the city, like the monster from earlier, but that kind of monster was not that common. Outside the education block, the painter and the man in the fog were still fighting. Chinga made use of this opportunity to cut through the school to reach the northern side. Zhang Ju and the rest were fighting the monsters, so it was easy to find them. Zhang Ju. Zhu Long. Blood vessels crawled down the corridor, and the pungent smell assaulted their nostrils. Following the dripping sound of blood, Chin Gu came to the door of the one of the classrooms with the accompaniment of several red specters. Mr. Bai? When they saw Chin Gu, Zhang Ju, and Zhu Long, felt tears in their eyes. A friend in need was a friend indeed. Don't be scared, I'm here to save you. Chin Gu did not say anything else, but the simplest truth. It is not safe here. Bring all the children, and we'll leave. Okay. Zhang Ju, Zhu Long, and Zhou Tu were red specters, and Wang Yicheng was a half-red specter. However, Wang Yicheng and Zhou Tu had lost their fighting ability, and it was Zhu Long and Zhang Ju who were holding up the fight. Both parties met up, and the number of red specters around Chen Gu increased again to a startling number. Why didn't you wait for me after arriving at the library? Why did you end up on the northern side of school? Chen Gu had been curious about that. He did not think that Zhang Ju and the rest would abandon him. We were ambushed. Once we left the campuses, we were attacked. It appeared to be the painter's people, and they were red specters, too, Zhang Ju explained softly. I couldn't handle it alone. Thankfully, Zhu Long soon came from the mirror. The person who ambushed me weren't expecting two red specters. After a momentary daze, they started to escape. Then, we chased after them until we reached this place. Then? Where did they go? There were other red specters hidden at the school, this attracted Chen Ji's attention. If it had not been Zhu Long and Zhang Ju, but himself who came out from the mirror first, he would have been in big trouble. The other party was prepared, and he might have killed Chen Gu before he had the chance to summon Suin. Just thinking about that caused Chen Jio shiver. Don't worry about that. That person now is. Zhang Ju and Zhu Long pointed at their stomachs. In here. I'm not worried about that. There was a red specter on the route Chang Wenyu arranged for me, so this means that someone has leaked the secret. Chen Gu stopped thinking about this troublesome problem. The painter is a difficult person to deal with. Luckily, he is not coming after us now. Chen Gu looked out the window. He had another name added to the list of people he did not want to face other than Dr. Gao. This kind of person is suitable to be friends with, but it's not easy to be their friend. Dr. Gao wanted to revive a dead person, and the painter wanted to build a paradise behind the door, they both had some strange ideals. After saving the trapped students, when Chen Gu led Zhang Ju and Zhu Long to the center of the school, Mr. Lei finally shut up. I will not force you to make any choices, and I will try my best to help you. However, I have limited power, and I can't do so much. I can only save those who are dear to me. Chen Gu had rescued the people on the northern side, that gave him the approval of many students, and more people wanted to follow him. Compared to the red specters around Chen Gu, the staff were on the weaker side. When Chen Gu prepared to leave to the western side of the school, many students were willing to follow him. Before Chen Gu promised anything, the teachers became worried. They knew very well that the school's consciousness was made up from every student, so the more students they had, the safer they would feel. Calm down, look at who is holding back the scariest monster. The fact that you haven't been consumed by the Red City is due to the painter. He is the one you should be thanking, not this fella called Chen Gu. Mr. Lei was feeling annoyed. Only top Red Spectres can be relied on. 
no matter how good the others did, it is just a futile struggle. Mr. Lei was telling the truth, and it was something Chen Gu could not deny. He asked the teachers to look after the students, but at the moment, Chen Gu stopped moving. How did you know I don't have any top red specters with me? When he said that, the surroundings became quiet. You have a top red specter with you? Mr. Lei scanned the ghosts around Chen Gu. He did not believe this. Why do you think they are gathered around me? Chen Gu showed a winning smile. Are you talking about Chang Wenyu? Mr. Lei was reminding of something, and he frowned. Not her. Technically speaking, this top red specter that I have is the real owner of this school. I came here to recover her stuff. Chen Gu was not lying, and his expression was calm. Under Chen Ji's cold gaze, Mr. Lei suddenly shuddered. He saw the present box that Chen Gu was holding, and he remembered that the box was taken from one of the rooms in the female dormitory. A scary thought crossed his mind. Mr. Lei sucked in a cold breath, and the way he looked at Chen Gu changed. It's her, Chen Gu did not waste time answering, he just smiled. He hugged the box and ran to the western side. Many students wanted to follow Chen Gu, and this time, Mr. Lei did not stop them. Sir, what should we do? There were fewer and fewer students in the classrooms, the surrounding teachers were anxious. We have promised the painter, no matter what happens, we wouldn't have the student's conviction shaken. If that woman has really returned, where would she hide? Mr. Lei did not appear to hear the other teachers as he kept his eyes on Chen Ji's back. Mr. Lei? Shush. Something big is about to happen. More students left the center of the school. The painter outside the building felt this, and his black eyes turned away from the man in the fog for the first time to look at the school. Chen Gu, who was running down the corridor, felt a chill run down his spine, and then he could not stop sweating. He turned to look out the window and happened to meet the painter's gaze. The painter's dark eyes did not seem to have any life, but Chen Ji's eyes reflected a blood-red world. The painter was reflected in Chen Ji's eyes, and he saw himself clearly. Chapter 894, Broken Door As he stopped to help his friends, more and more students chose to follow behind Chen Gu. Most of them were doing it to save themselves, but from the moment they made that choice, something changed. So, this is the school's approval? The gaze from the painter made Chen Gu feel like he had fallen into ice, but a sense of warmth exuded from the students around him. It was a strange feeling, like he was wrapped in warm blood. It did not feel bad. There is no telling what will happen when a living human like myself gains the school's approval, but there is no better choice at the moment. Chen Gu turned his head around and forced himself to look away from the painter, and the chill slowly disappeared. He didn't notice anything, did he? After running several meters away, Chen Gu looked out the window again. To his consternation, the painter's black eyes were still looking his way, but not at him, but at this shadow. The mirror in the sky was ravaged by the blood storm, but the painter did not move his brush. He could only paint a ghost, and the man in the storm was not a ghost. He had not told anyone about that before, not even Chang Wenyu. The mirror was getting more and more unstable. The reason the painter could face three people alone was due to the support from the school's consciousness. He kept breaking the mirror that represented the school's consciousness to gain the power approaching a greater red specter. This is getting a bit too troublesome. The painter wrapped the blood vessels around the canvas that he had torn from his body. He dragged his wounded body toward the eye of the storm. The man in the storm did not know about what he was planning. When he saw the painter approach him, his attack on the mirror grew more aggressive. This monster was scarier than anyone had anticipated, but to prevent himself from being seen by the painter, he had been holding back, hiding in the storm. Greedy yet cautious, he always placed his own safety first. That was probably the only way to survive in the blood city. The blood storm continued to blow, and it cut at the painter's body like knives, yet the painter did not care about it. His dark eyes stared into the storm. Those who were in his gaze would be shaken, and that included the man in the storm. 
A glance had ruined kindness, the painter's special power shook the man. Seeing the painter approach, he stopped hiding his real power. An arm crawling with black blood vessels reached out from the storm. The skin of this arm was not that different from a living person, but the black capillaries on it caused people to be cautious. His body was running with black blood, and he looked like a mix of a human and ghost. The arm gave a familiar feeling to everyone there, like they had seen it many years ago in Nightmare, but now they could not remember the details. Initially, the man only showed an arm. As the arm reached outward, it also showed his shoulder and the patient's garb that he was wearing. Instead of saying that he was wearing it, it was more like the patient's outfit grew on his skin so that he was unable to take it off. Upon closer inspection, the patient's outfit worn by the man was similar to the one worn by the doctor at the school. They should have come from the same place, but one had run into the Red City, and the other had run to the school of the afterlife. Chingu witnessed the changes outside the building with his own eyes. When the patient's outfit showed itself, he had an ominous feeling. The man had probably come from the cursed hospital, a patient that had escaped. Just an escaped patient was that scary, so how scary could the hospital itself be? Actually, Chingu understood it well. Even though they were both four-star scenarios, the cursed hospital and the school of the afterlife were not on the same level. Just like how the third sick hall and underground morgue were both three-star scenarios, but the underground morgue was much more dangerous than the third sick hall. The door pusher for one was Dr. Gao, and the other was Men Nan. Put Men Nan and Dr. Gao in a match, and the result was clear. That was the case with the school of the afterlife and the cursed hospital, one had a dead door pusher while the other had far-reaching influence into every corner of Jiujiang. If Chen Gu arranged the known four-star scenarios on the black phone based on their difficulty, the simplest should be the school of the afterlife, then the ghost fetus, and finally the cursed hospital. I've already interacted with the cursed hospital. According to the non-smiler, the hospital will eventually come to get me. The ghost fetus knows that I've killed the shadow, so it will also come find me. Chen Gu could not share this problem with others. A normal person might not even get a red specter's attention, but Chen Gu was being targeted by two four-star scenarios at the same time. What have I done to deserve this? While Chen Gu reflected on that, the situation outside the building changed again. The man in the fog reached into the mirror. The black blood appeared to be some kind of toxin that worked on memories and emotions. The blood mirror cracked a lot. The man abandoned his arm, and the mirror almost fully collapsed. The memories fell like rain, and the cries of every student echoed everywhere. It sounded like the school was crying. The mirror shattered, and everything in the mirror crumbled, including the library and the education block. The buildings collapsed, and the rooms disappeared, with only the last toilet on the fourth floor remaining. The dried blood vessels protected this room heavily. With the infiltration of the black blood, the layer of blood vessels peeled off. The cubicles and the toilet turned illusory, and the door started to disappear until it reached the last cubicle. Chen Gu had been there before, and he remembered the last cubicle not having a door. When the last blood vessel dropped away, the cubicles that had doors all disappeared, and a door surfaced on the last cubicle that originally did not have a door. The door appeared like it had always been there. This non-existent door on the western and eastern campus was the only thing that was real on the two campuses. When the illusion fell away, the real door appeared. The last cubicle in the fourth floor toilet, that was where the door pusher entered the school of the afterlife. Without the protection of the mirror, everyone saw the door. It was covered in cracks like it had been broken before and was slowly pieced back together. Chapter 895 this is my chance, the door to the school of the afterlife had finally appeared. It was the only real existence in the mirrored paradise, the core of the mirrored world. When the illusion shattered and the heaven constructed by the painter had broken, the only thing that remained of the large western and eastern campuses was this door. It looked unassuming, different from the doors of other scenarios. There were no blood stains on it, like it was just a normal door. Quick! Look. 
There's something behind the door, someone in the crowd shouted, and everyone turned to look behind the door. A bloody reflection was shown on the cracked door, there was a woman hiding behind it. She was not that tall and wore a normal dress. The only thing different was that her heart was dyed red. The girl had a bleeding heart. Chang Wenyu? She has been hiding at the door? The most dangerous place was often the safest place. No one would have guessed that Chang Wenyu was hiding by the door, so everyone including the painter was shocked. Of course, the man in the fog was shocked as well. He had done so much to find the door, and just as he was about to gain it, there was already someone standing beside it. He had a bad feeling in his heart, like everything he had done was for someone else. Chang Wenyu, as if she had known that things would reach this stage, did not panic. When the hand of the man in the fog was about to reach the door, she stood to block it. Chang Wenyu, the man in the fog shouted, but the arm that was made from black blood was unable to get close to the door. Chang Wenyu held her bleeding heart, and she had a smirk on her pale face. Strange patterns appeared on her dress, and as the pattern disappeared, more students collapsed to the ground like their energy was drained. This door hasn't really made any considerations for the people in the school before. It continues to trick lost souls into coming here to strengthen itself so that it will no longer be so lonely. How is that different from a devil? It is actually worse than a devil because at least the devil makes use of human greed and desire, but the door uses the weakness and despair in people's hearts. Chang Wenyu was prepared. As someone who could tussle with the painter, she was not a simple character. Using hope as bait and having people believe that this was sanctuary that could provide an escape from reality. Once you arrive here, you realize that this is a much deeper layer of hell. There is no salvation, no hope, and no escape. Chang Wenyu looked at the broken door. Why should such a door remain? She appeared to be asking the painter and conversing with the door at the same time. I've known about the door's exact location for a while, but this door hasn't appeared before me before. If it was not cornered, I would not see this door. The smile on Chang Wenyu's face slowly disappeared. She stood before the door, and the pattern on her face slowly leaked into the broken door. The shattered door quivered slightly like it was pleading for mercy. Painter, you might not know this, but actually, since I left the school, I have lost the school's approval. Yet, have you ever wondered why, after losing the school's approval, so many people at this school are willing to help me? Chang Wenyu interrogated the painter, with the man in the fog stuck in the middle. He was cornered from both sides, and he was the most desperate person. The painter did not answer Chang Wenyu, instead continuing to attack the man in the fog. You know the answer, but you have been running away from it. Not every student here wants to stay, they should have their own choice. A life where you cannot make your choice, no matter where it is, is just another gilded cage. Chang Wenyu stood before the door. She wanted to the destroy the door, the man in the fog wanted to claim the door, and the painter wanted to kill. All three of them had different goals. The poorest thing was the man in the fog, he was stuck. He wanted to give up but he was unwilling because the door was literally right before him. Some treated the school as a sanctuary, while others saw it as a cage. Some were trying to change the school, to turn the bad into good, while others wanted to ruin all the negative emotions so that they would not harm anyone else. Chin Gu saw the battle above the school, clearly. He could not decide who was right or wrong, everyone had their own opinions. The seemingly united school's consciousness was actually very fragile. Chin Gu, now is the best chance. We should leave while we can. In Hong did not care about the result of the fight. She just wanted to leave. For most of the students, the school did not represent any good memories. Now is indeed a good chance. The chance that Chen Gu meant was completely different from what In Hong meant. He was truly courageous. He looked at the sky. Let them fight. The top red specters that we can only look at from below will eventually come down, and that is when we strike. You want to go after them? In Hong was shocked by what Chen Ge said. Be it the man in the fog, the painter, 
or Chong Wenyu, none of them were normal red specters. They had reached the top of the range for red specters, and with the school's help, they had the power of a greater red specter. Do not be scared by their appearance. Take a closer look. Even though the painter and Chong Wenyu have their conflict, they are joining forces to deal with the man in the fog. The man has an advantage when he deals with the painter alone, but when he is attacked by both, it is only a matter of time until he fails. The man will either escape from the school or be consumed by the painter and Chang Wenyu. The key thing is that there is another unresolvable conflict between Chang Wenyu and the painter. After the man in the fog leaves, they will fight again. Chen Gu saw this clearly. Chang Wenyu wants to destroy the school's door, and the painter wants to use the door to reconstruct a heaven here. Neither of them will give up this chance. A cornered beast is very dangerous. I don't think that we should get ourselves involved. It's lucky that we will be able to escape. Not only In Hong, but Han Song and the other students did not want to make the painter or Chang Wenyu their enemy. The employees at the haunted house said nothing, though, they had full confidence in Chen Gu. The scariest thing about the painter is his special power. The reason Chang Wenyu hasn't shown up is because she's waiting for the painter's special power to run out. The fight of both parties will cause them to use everything. After they have fought, we will only face an empty shell. Chapter 896 The last painting Chen Ji's tone was calm, like he was describing something that was unimportant. You have stayed at the school for too long, so it's natural for you to be afraid of the painter and Chang Wenyu, but for myself and other outsiders, they are just normal top red specters. Hearing the consolation from Chen Gu, In Hong, and the other students felt worse. There are no normal top red specters, In Hong grumbled softly. She looked at Chen Gu and was suddenly reminded of what Mr. Lei had said earlier, her gaze wandering to Chen Ji's shadow. She felt like something was hiding in Chen Ji's shadow, but the presence was so weak that she could not identify it. Never mind, I'll choose to trust you this one time, In Hong said as she ran to In Bai pulling her hand firmly. You. No matter what happens later, do not let go of my hand. You have to understand that the only person who treats you with sincerity is me, In Hong said like this was their parting words, and that gave In Bai quite a shock. The sound of fighting kept coming from outside the school. Chen Gu looked calm on the surface, but internally, he was not that calm. He had called Zhang Ye's name multiple times in his heart, but there was no response. Without Zhang Ye, with the power of the red specters around him, he only had the power to resist. Muyang High School's old well had the painter's secret, so the painter definitely knows about it. That path is no longer safe. Even so, after leaving the school from the well, finding the third sick hall through the Red City won't be easy either. Chinga had many students gathered around him, but he really had no confidence that he could lead everyone to safety. If they go through the Red City, most students would die and be permanently buried in the city. The best solution is to wait until we can take control of the situation. The School of the Afterlife was a four-star scenario, and it was isolated from the Red City. With the appearance of the door, the fewer the secrets and the more things that appeared, the better Chen Gu felt. Chen Gu, forgive me for asking, but do you really think we can become the new owner here? We can do better than the painter? The old headmaster was anxious. He was the oldest and the voice of reason. The painter's power is close to that of a greater red specter, and he has such a scary special power. Even so, he couldn't get full control of the school and gain the door's approval. Why do you think we can do it? This question had been in the old headmaster's heart for a long time, he just had not said it out loud. Chen Gu wanted him to become the new headmaster but he was just a half-red specter. Every single red specter there could kill him easily, much less the painter. The students entered the door, due to despair, they wish for salvation behind the door, not more lies. The painter has good intentions, but he is too extreme. There is no heaven behind the door. Once the fake heaven is exposed, the result will only be worse. Chen Gu turned to look at the old headmaster, we do not want lies, 
we need to provide actual help for these homeless children and turn this place into a home that they can rely on. We are not going to fix heaven. We are going to build a sanctuary that they can use to take a break. And no one will stop them from leaving. No one's life is perfect all the time. Half of the time, it is filled with pain and conflict, but that is a complete life. We are not trying to change their life, we are merely providing them a break whenever they need it. This was the first time that the red specters behind the door had heard someone say something like that. They felt like Chen Vu had a point, but once they gave it a closer look, they realized that something did not feel so right. Okay. The old headmaster stopped speaking, but there was still concern in his eyes. While Chen Jie's group were discussing, the situation outside the school changed again. The man hiding in the storm was attacked from the back. He had a pact with Chang Wenyu, but at the last moment, Chang Wenyu betrayed him. Everyone was out for themselves. They were merely using each other. Trust and friendship were rarer than diamonds behind the door. Chang Wenyu. The door was just before him, but he could not reach it. The man in the storm yelled crazily. He wished to tear Chang Wenyu into pieces. We are all one step away from becoming something more than a red specter. The person who pushes this door open and becomes the real owner of the school's consciousness will become a greater red specter. Chang Wenyu understood that well. Did you think I would help you become that? If you gain this movable door, you will use it to trick more students into entering it and use their pain and despair to strengthen yourself. Isn't that how the door should be used? The world has abandoned you behind the door. They bullied and tortured you. Now you finally have the method to take revenge, to make them feel the same thing, don't you want that? The man in the storm kept screaming. He had sacrificed a lot, but he had gotten nothing in return, and he might lose his life. Even now, I have no understanding why the door appeared. This kind of thing is better destroyed. The room behind Chang Wenyu slipped into the door. The door slowly turned red, and blood leaked out from the gap. Look, no matter how well the door hides it, it is still flowing with human blood. It is a monster that depends on despair and pain to survive. The cracks on the door grew bigger, and every student in the school heard the pleading but the sound was different, like it came from their own hearts. The pleading door influenced all the students, including the painter. Since the mirror broke, the power that he could borrow had lessened. His large body was slowly dwindling, and the arms behind him were shriveling as he dragged them weakly behind him. Perhaps because Chang Wenyu had left the school and did not rely too much on the door, she was not affected that much. If anything, her presence only grew stronger. This door accepted you when you were at your most despairing moment, but now you want to destroy it. Without it, where will the other despairing people hide? Do they have the face, the cruel world alone? Even though the painter had greatly weakened, there was a glow in his dark eyes, like everything that had happened was still within his expectations. The blood vessels that covered his skin revealed a corner, and the painter turned to look at Chang Wenyu. Chapter 897, Rune on the Door, Chang Wenyu was the most unique presence at the school. She did not follow the rules, did not want to be bound, and purposely tried to undermine it. But a personality like that was loved by many at the school. Perhaps their lives were too boring, her appearance was like a light for those despairing students. The light was not bright, but it stood out in the darkness. Her personality was completely different from that of the painter. It was not done on purpose, and the two of them steadily went down opposite paths from each other. Interestingly enough, the students at the school did not fully support either one of them. The students were quite evenly distributed in support of them. Theoretically speaking, only by vanquishing the other could they claim the entirety of the school's consciousness and become the new door pusher. That was when their battle started, and it had continued. The man in the fog suffered attacks from the painter while he attacked Chang Wenyu. The runes on Chang Wenyu's back were destroying the school's door and blocking the attack of the man. Of the three, the one who had the prerogative was the painter. He could use one of his powers to deprive a specter of their everything. This power was useless on the man in the storm, 
but it was useful on Chang Wenyu. The painter hesitated. After he dealt with Chang Wenyu, he would face the man in the storm alone, but that was not the key. The one closest to the door now was Chang Wenyu, and the second was the patient. When Chang Wenyu could not hold on any more, the patient would immediately go after the defenseless door. If he became the new door pusher, it was over for the painter. The vessels wrapped around the canvas again, the painter did not use his power on Chang Wenyu. After so many years of battle, he knew her well. Since she dared appear, it meant that she had something else up her sleeves. It was too dangerous to go after her. The painter waited for Chang Wenyu to finish the fight with the man in the storm, and Chen Gu waited for the three of them to end their fight. What are the runes on Chang Wenyu's back? Why can they make the cracks on the door bigger? When I was interacting with the Ghost Stories Society, I didn't notice anything that can damage the door unless the door pusher chose to suffer all the sin behind the door. Chen Gu was curious about the runes on Chang Wenyu's back, but he couldn't see it from his angle. Chang Wenyu was leaning against the door, and her body blocked most of the runes. Those runes appear to be drawn in blood. They don't look like letters, but like patterns that were formed after paintings were torn open. Time ticked, and the runes on Chang Wenyu's back slowly lessened. The new runes appeared to come out from her own body. They carried her flesh and blood, and when they printed on the door, they were stuck with her blood. More runes covered the door, and Chen Gu slowly realized that the runes were not formed randomly. They were arranged according to a certain arrangement before forming a bloody painting. It was a specter with three heads, covered in shackles, and the eyeballs were shining with blood. Bizarrely, he eyeballs looked like they were real, like they had been gouged out from human eyes. I have seen that somewhere before. Chen Gu used his Yang vision, and a thought crossed his mind. Before I entered the underground morgue, the Ghost Story Society came to my haunted house. Dr. Gao left such a painting on my door. Like he was struck by lightning, Chen Gu couldn't believe his own eyes. It is the same one. At the time, Dr. Gao had used the phone spirit to lure him away and then sneaked into the haunted house, but then his ceremony did not seem to have been completed. Before he entered the door, he had been stopped by the guardian spirit of New Century Park. What is the meaning of this painting? Why does Chang Wenyu believe it can destroy the door? What does the monster represent? It looks like a ghost, but is not a ghost, and even ghosts are afraid of it. The door of the school was moaning. The picture of the three-headed demon became clearer. Every piece of the painting had Chang Wenyu's flesh. It looked gruesome. Before, Dr. Gao wasn't a red specter, and he used a normal person's method to conduct the ceremony. This allowed him to enter the door at my haunted house. Now, Chang Wenyu, as a red specter, is using her own blood to complete this painting. The effect is definitely different. Looks like she is determined to destroy this door. Using her flesh to do the painting drained Chang Wenyu a lot. The blood at her heart was fading and bruises appeared on her limbs. The man in the storm had blood that could poison the ghosts. Chang Wenyu could not resist it anymore, and the poison infiltrated her body. Indescribable pain ravaged her body, but her mouth was slowly blooming. She was familiar with this feeling, the greater the pain, the brighter her smile. The painting on the door was almost complete, and Chang Wenyu's body was at its limit. The blood at her chest almost disappeared. Without the red dress, Chang Wenyu looked like a normal girl, but there was an indescribable emotion in her remaining eye. The man in the storm could retreat at any moment, and the one in the most dangerous situation was Chang Wenyu. Yet, the girl had madness burning in her eye that made everyone else cautious. If the painter was a sea of death, Chang Wenyu was a flaming ocean. When she was in deep despair, there was no telling what she would do. In the whole school, the person who knew Chang Wenyu the most was the painter. At this point, the blood on the painter started to attack Chang Wenyu. Once the door was destroyed, the school of the afterlife would disappear. All of the students would lose their sanctuary and be exposed to the Red City. The painter and the monster in the storm joined forces, and that was far beyond what Chang Wenyu could suffer. 
The painting on the door was becoming more clarified. It was almost complete, but Chang Wenyu was at her limit. There was no trace of blood in her body, and her body was filled with wounds, but she stood before the door with a smile. Her head swung around. The remaining eye seemed to be looking for something. In such a dangerous moment, Chang Wenyu's strange action drew the painter and the man's attention. They followed her gaze, and then three gazes fell on the western side of the school, on one person. Chen Gu. Being scrutinized by three top red specters, Chen Gu was dripping with sweat. Why are they looking at me? While Chen Gu was confused, Lin Cici's phone in his pocket suddenly vibrated. He opened it to look, and it was a message from a stranger. Have you remembered what you've lost? Chapter 898, No One Can Leave, What Have I Lost? When Chen Gu saw this message, he was instantly reminded of the black phone. He had no idea who had sent this message, but it had to do with one of the top red specter, or else the timing was too perfect. So, a threat? The message was not named, and the sender was unknown, but based on Chen Ji's prediction, the black phone was most likely with Chang Wenyu. It was Chang Gu who had handed him the backpack, and the phone had been the only thing missing. She wants me to help her? But why would the message be sent to Lin Cici's phone? Lin Cici is the painter's partner, he has been helping the painter by protecting the dormitories. Chen Gu did not get it. Perhaps Chang Wenyu has approached Lin Cici before. The imminent problem was not to see who had sent the message, but to get out from his latest conundrum. Being scrutinized by three top red specters, Chen Gu had a deja vu feeling. It seemed to have happened at Liwan City before, so he did not panic that much, and that shocked the surrounding students. Calm down, I have to calm down. The black phone is important to me, but that is a secret known only to me. Neither Chang Wenyu nor the painter know that. If I act strangely, it will expose the importance of the phone. Thus, the best solution is to act normal. That was what Chen Gu thought and what he did. When he saw the message on Lin Cici's phone, his expression did not change. Very casually, he placed the phone back in his pocket and turned around to look at the students. The well is in the western field. The boards at the end of the corridor can be removed, so we'd better move. The reason he had stayed was to grab some benefits, but since the three red specters were on to him, the most rational solution was to leave. When Chen Gu saw the message on Lin Cici's phone, he did not stay, but chose to leave. When Chang Wenyu saw this, her smile lessened, but the madness in her eyes grew. Her body was consumed by strange runes, and the three-headed demon appeared to be branded on the door. The door kept groaning, and every student at the school could feel the pain coming from their heart. The movable door has broken the rules. Only the people in despair can push open the door, but the door has no right to trick despairing people. Whether or not to enter the door is the choice only given to the door pusher. That is the last and most saddening choice they have made in their lives. Chang Wenyu's eyes were red. She smiled as she looked down at all the students at the school. No one can take away this right. After she said that, she gave up defense and allowed the attacks to fall on her. The whole school was echoing with her crazy laugh. The three-headed demon fully surfaced. Its eyes rolled about, and it started to consume the already shattered door. The door was about to collapse. The man in the storm cursed and extended his other arm out of the storm. His attack looked like self-mutilation. Every power used his own flesh as the base, the longer the battle dragged on, the worse state he would be in. The painter looked at the crazed Chang Wenyu and took out the skin hidden in the blood again. His bloody finger was about to land on the canvas when he caught sight of Chen Gu from the corner of his eyes. He had been cautious about something. After some hesitation, he put the canvas away and adjusted the remaining school's consciousness to stop Chang Wenyu. Chang Wenyu used everything to summon the three-headed demon to destroy the door. The painter and the man in the fog tried everything to stop Chang Wenyu, and the worst thing was, more strange noises were coming from the Red City. More monsters were waking up. 
The battle of the three top red specters had reached its climax. Even Chen Gu, who was far from the battle, faced some trouble. On the western field, a thin boy and a blindfolded man stood next to the well. There was a four-legged humanoid monster crawling on the mouth of the well. Other than them, Endless Black Briar was coming toward the western side. The monsters in the Red City appeared to have received some order and were all gathering this way. The painter and the patient in the storm did not plan on letting Chen Gu go. The reason was simple. At the last moment, Chang Wenyu had laid her eyes on Chen Gu. They seemed to believe that Chen Gu possessed something of hers, or Chen Gu was one of her trump cards. Initially, Chen Gu had been hiding in the dark. No one had paid him any attention, but due to Chang Wenyu, the spotlight had landed on him. But luckily, the focus of the top red specters was still on Chang Wenyu, and Chen Gu could handle this situation. Don't block our way. I don't wish to have conflict with you. Even though Chen Gu said that, he wished for a fight. He had more red specters, and if he could consume one red specter from the enemy, it was a gain. This well is connected to the painter's heart, it is not the exit on the other side, the thin boy told Chen Gu. He was kind toward Chen Gu, which was strange. Please go back. I do not want to fight you. You seem to know me well? Chen Gu looked at the boy and signaled for everyone to be prepared. I am Lin Cici. You have been using my identity on the eastern campus. The boy coughed. The same thing happened to us. Actually, I wish to live like you, but unfortunately, there is no return. It is never too late to make a choice unless there are no more choices. Chen Gu pointed at the students behind him. I can stay, but do you wish to these innocent children to get involved? Please, let me take them to a safe place first. He would rather stay in danger and not have danger come to any students, his impression of Chen Gu improved a lot. We cannot let even one of the students go. They are part of the school's consciousness. The loss of each student will weaken the school's consciousness. Now, the painter requires power, so all of you had better stay here. The blindfolded guy had a chilling tone. Chang Wenyu wants to ruin the door. She has lost the qualification to become the door pusher. After chasing away the monster that came from the city, the painter will undeniably become the new door pusher of the school, and then he will obtain the power of a greater red specter. Chapter 899 What is Hiding in Your Shadow? The painter will undeniably become the new door pusher at the school of the afterlife? You guys sure have plenty of confidence in him. Due to the different position that they took, they naturally had different ways of dealing with things. In the eyes of Lin Cici and the rest, the painter was their only hope, he was the one closest to becoming a greater red specter, but Chen Gu did not share their view. Be it the painter or Chang Wenyu, their thoughts were too extreme. No one knew the actual meaning behind the door's existence and even the door pusher himself would be unable to explain it. In those circumstances, there was no need to force a change to the world behind the door. There had to be a reason for it to exist. Chen Ji's thoughts were much more innocent than the rest. Please get out of the way. The students are innocent. You all have no right to make them sacrifice themselves. Chen Gu stood in front of all the students from the school. It was the door from the school of the afterlife that lured them into the door, it was not them who opened the door willingly. So, it was the door from the school that needed their help, not the other way around. Chen Ji's very words resonated deeply with the hearts of the students. None of us wish to fight the painter or Chang Wenyu, we just want to be alive. When the students following behind Chen Gu saw Lin Cici and the man with the blindfold, they started to feel uneasy. It was an everyday affair to feel threatened by the school's consciousness, and the painter and his people were in a way the representative of the school's consciousness. Going against them meant that they would be abandoned by the school's consciousness, and in the world behind the door where danger was lurking everywhere, losing the protection of the school's consciousness was no different from finding death. Before this, they had no choice, so even when the school's consciousness went against their own ideals, they had no choice but to silence their heart and follow. 
however, that day, Chingu was there. There were several red specters around him, and he had saved many of the students who were trapped in danger. He dared go against the painter's people, and he was not afraid of the teachers who represented the managers. Everything that he did was out of consideration for the students themselves. How could they not follow a person like that? Why would they find a reason to reject such a person? The same knife cut bread and flesh, the one thing that might help them could also injure them. The painter's people blocked the exit, and their actions lit a fuse under the resentment that had been curdling in the students' hearts. One had to understand that not all the students at the school were specters. A large portion of them were lingering spirits who had been kidnapped by the door. Their souls were hooked inside the door, but their physical bodies were still lying in the hospital in a coma. Before Chingu entered the school of the afterlife to find Changgu, he had seen many parents of the students trying to find and corner Changgu. Those were the parents of the students whose lingering spirits had been trapped behind the door. Releasing a small portion of the lingering spirits would not affect the school of the afterlife, but to let go off all of the students, the foundation of the school of the afterlife would collapse upon itself. The painter and the school's consciousness would not allow that to happen, so they had no choice but to block Chin Ji's path. Chin Go, I really do not wish to fight you, you will not win. Lin Cici slowly lowered his head, and the following seemed to subconsciously escape from his lips. You do not understand how scary the painter can be. Lin. Before Lin Cici could finish, the blindfolded man interrupted him harshly. He turned around and pulled off the black cloth that covered his eyes. Do not forget who it was that pulled you out from the deep water of despair and who it was that used the painting to help you retain the only beautiful memory you had. After hearing what the blindfolded man said, Lin Cici's eyes slowly turned cold. It was as if the boy had put his emotions away. It appeared that the boy was not a killer by nature, but for the sake of the painter, he would do what he normally would not. Chen Go, neither I nor Lin hate you. Even the painter places great value upon you, and as a matter of fact, he wishes for you to join us. We should not be fighting each other. Take all the students back to the classrooms, and the painter will forgive all the mistakes that you have previously made. Forgive me? Chen Gu took several steps back. Just as Lin Cici and the blindfolded man thought that he was about to compromise, Chen Gu opened his mouth to say, I do not think that I have done anything wrong, so I do not need his forgiveness. In fact, it is you people who need to reflect on what you have done. There were plenty of students following Chen Gu, and more and more students were being dragged away by the monsters in the blood fog, never to return. The patient in the center of the storm was worried that Chen Gu would be convinced by the painter's people, so he ordered a large number of monsters to attack the students that were following Chen Gu. With every second that dragged on, more and more students would disappear. You will regret this. The blindfolded man threw away the black cloth that he was holding. The eyes that he had kept closed were now slowly opening. The left eye was a sea of blood and the right eye saw the people and monsters, but there was no scenery or background. It was as if, other than blood, humans, and specters, there was nothing else that was able to be registered in his sight. I have now seen the moment of your death. The painter and the man in the fog formed a consensus on the way to deal with Chen Go. The monsters in the fog and the blindfolded man attacked Chen Ji's group at the same time. The difference was, the blindfolded man and Lin Cici only went after the red specters, but the monsters in the blood fog attacked indiscriminately. This naturally placed Chin Ji's group in a desperate situation. Stop it. Please stop it. The old headmaster cried at the top of the lung. He saw with his own eyes, the students being dragged into the blood fog and their spirits dispersing just like that. It was just too cruel. Being killed behind the door meant that they would be left with nothing, and it was no different from being wiped out from the world. No trace of them would be left anymore, and that was such a cruel punishment for the students who had basically done nothing wrong. For most of them, they were not at the school of the afterlife of their own volition, so what had they done to deserve such an unsightly ending? The battle between the painter, Chang Wenyu, 
and the man who controlled the fog reached its climax. This was a matter of life and death, their underlings did not dare dawdle. They tried their best to accomplish their boss orders. Even if it was going to add just a fraction of the chance to victory, it would be worth it. Therefore, for the battle on Chen Ji's side, there were no tests or trials, the battle started with the bloodiest massacre. The power of the blindfolded man and Lin Sisi was far beyond Chen Ji's expectations. There was no surprise that they could become the painter's left and right-hand men. Both could make use of the school's consciousness, and each of them possessed extremely scary special powers. The blindfolded man could the see the image of the person before they died, so he could recreate that process of death and turn himself into pure fear and pain. Lin Cici's power was even more unique. His body could morph into a ball of gray smog. No one could see through the smog. The monsters that were dragged away by the fog, be it red specters or normal specters, when they reappeared, would lose their combat ability, and their bodies would be covered in wounds. Chinga had a feeling that the people being dragged into the gray fog were still able to walk out of it alive because Lin Cici never wanted to kill in the first place. Lin Cici and the blinded man had unique special powers and completely undid the numerical advantage that Chin Ji's group had. Thus, the situation was getting worse. Destroy the leader and the gang will collapse. That was logic that everyone would understand. There was a fatal flaw in Chin Ji's group, and that was Chin Gu himself. He was just a living person. Even with the close protection of the many red specters, it was hard for him to survive in the chaos behind the door. The blindfolded man and Lin Cici both attempted to approach Chin Gu. As one half-red specter after another collapsed in their path, it was finally the red specter's turn. Most of the red specters who followed Chin Gu were already wounded, and the key problem was that other than Su Yin, there were no other red specters who would risk their own lives to protect Chin Gu. There were two enemies, but only one Suin. With the approach of the strong enemy and the collapse of his friends one after another, as well as the continuous red wave that came from the red city that was not far away, the situation was getting steadily worse. The fight of the three top red specter had not reached its conclusion, but they were already at their limit. The final victor would literally consume everything. Han Song and Yin Hong tried their best to save as many students as they could and protect the students who had been following Chen Gu, to prevent them from being slaughtered by the monsters in the blood fog. The remaining red specters, though, all gathered around Chen Gu to stop the blindfolded man and Lin Cici. People like you will never give up until you're pushed to the gallows. Lin Cici morphed into gray smoke. No one was able to stop him, so they turned their attention to focus on the blindfolded man. He felt the pressure and turned to look at the mouth of the well. The monster that was on the mouth of the well chuckled wildly. With his limbs on the rim of the well, he poked his head into the hole. Just as people were wondering what he was doing, the sound of water flowing came from inside the old well. The sound grew louder and louder, until it sounded like large and powerful waves hitting against the rocky shore. When the monster with four limbs poked his head out from the well again, everyone who saw him had a frown on their face. The monster's head and body had inverted. He charged at Chen Gu with a crazy smile, and after he left, many human heads floated out from the old well. They looked like black bubbles. What are those? A series of strange cackling echoed over each other, and endless inverted monsters, with their heads hanging down, crawled out from the old well. That well hides the biggest secret of the painter. It is an inverted world inside there. This is how human beings look like in the painter's heart. After Lin Cici gave that explanation, he charged toward Su Yin. He could see how much Chen Gu valued this red specter. The gray smog surged forth, and Su Yin was lost inside the smog. Su Yin. Chen Gu saw Su Yin disappear inside the gray fog and it felt like someone had yanked a piece directly out from his heart. The monsters that crawled out from the water well charged at Chin Ji's team. Most of the red specters had been dragged down, and Chin Gu, who was standing in the middle of the battle, appeared to be surprisingly calm. The situation had truly gotten out of control. 
The painter had many trump cards that he had not shown, and he was one enemy whom Chen Gu still could not read. Chen Gu turned to look at the present box that he was carrying in his arms. He took out a candy from the candy bag that was next to the box. It was milky white candy, and it gave off a sweet, alluring smell. However, the human face that was pleading for mercy on it was quite disturbing to say the least. Calling the name silently in his heart, Chen Gook placed the candy gently on his own shadow. The candy dropped onto the ground, but nothing happened. However, Chen Ji's strange action did manage to attract the attention of everyone around him. What are you doing? Even though he was being attacked by numerous red specters, the blindfolded man still had the luxury to observe Chen Gu. This person should be the scariest specter at the school of the afterlife, behind Chang Wenyu and the painter. Chen Gu did not reply. He took out another candy and placed it again on his shadow. This time, something changed with the candy. It slowly dissolved like it was being absorbed by something inside Chen Ji's shadow. What is hiding in your shadow? The man with the blindfold had a very bad feeling. He unleashed a loud, shrill scream, and many monsters crawled out from the old well, charging madly at Chen Gu. Chapter 900, A Trick? The red specters behind the door were teetering at the edge of life and death, so their senses were sharp and attuned. Even though the three underlings of the painter had been fighting with the other red specters from the school of the afterlife, most of their attention had been placed on Chen Gu alone. Actually, including the painter, everyone was very curious. How did a living person like Chen Gu manage to have so many red specters listen to his orders? How did he manage to do that? What kind of power did he possess to accomplish such a feat? The unknown was always the scariest. The painter and his people did not go after Chen Gu directly because of this reason, they did not know anything about Chen Ji's trump card. They stood there and saw Chen Gu growing stronger and stronger as more and more red specters gathered around the man. The reason that you can control other red specters is inside your shadow? The man with the blindfold wished to get some information from the change in Chen Ji's facial expression, but to his disappointment, other than the added swiftness to his movement, Chen Gu did not show any unusual reactions, and his face was startlingly calm. Drops of candies landed on the shadow, and they slowly melted like fresh snow. Not just the man with the blindfold, but all the surrounding red specters started to feel a weak presence coming from Chen Ji's shadow. This presence was slowly gathering itself like something was awakening from its dream, but this process of awakening was going to be very long. I remember Mr. Bai once said that there is a special someone hiding inside his shadow. Heavily injured, Zhou Tu, who hid at the back, commented on this, like he was talking to himself. Yes, I do remember Mr. Bai saying something like that as well. Another student who had been brought over by Chen Gu from the eastern and western campus, Wang Yicheng, concurred. Before leaving the two campuses, we felt that presence. But after leaving the campuses, the sense of the presence instead became less obvious and weaker. It was unknown whether they were doing this on purpose or it was a pure coincidence, but the conversation between the two was overheard by the people around him, and that included the man with the blindfold who managed to hear them very clearly. Your last trump card is hidden inside your shadow? The man with the blindfold had basically confirmed that Chen Gu only dared enter the school of the afterlife in the form of a living human because there was something protecting him inside his shadow. In fact, he could push this speculation further and say that perhaps Chen Gu was just a puppet. Maybe the thing inside his shadow was the real mastermind behind the curtain. No one at the school of the afterlife really knew what was inside Chen Ji's shadow. Both the man with the blindfold and Lin Cici had a very bad feeling about this. They did not think that Chen Ji's shadow would be something to deal with. Coincidentally, at that moment, several teachers ran over from the end of the corridor of the education block. The leading person was Mr. Lei. When the red specters who guarded around Chen Gu saw the arrival of Mr. Lei and the rest of the teachers, they were quite relieved and happy. After all, they had interacted with each other before, and they were not actually enemies. 
However, what Mr. Lei said next completely shattered the hope of those red specters around Chen Go. There is a top red specter hiding in his shadow. She is not weaker than the painter and Chang Wenyu. Furthermore, she is deeply related to this school. We have to stop him no matter what. Mr. Lei and most of the staff at the school were on the same team as the painter. They were helping the painter manage the heaven that was constructed inside a nightmare. Top Red, Spectre? The three simple words appeared to have some kind of magical power that could shake everyone's heart. Even the three Top Red Spectres who were fighting non-stop, like it was the end of the world, temporarily stopped moving. Chen Gu, do not disappoint me. You were able to hide until now. I knew I could count on you. Her back and joined with the door already. Chang Wenyu, who was covered in wounds and had her lips split open, was laughing like maniac. Her blood-red eyes were dancing with mockery. Even if you kill me, neither of you are destined to get this door. The red specter who once destroyed this door has returned, the specter who scares the door itself has returned. The situation appeared to have changed in that moment. Chang Wenyu was roaring and yelling like she had lost her mind. The painter's face was dark as the far side of the moon. The man in the patient's outfit, who was stuck in the middle, controlling the blood fog, was as confused as he could be. Stop him. We need to stop him no matter what. When the fourth top red specter appeared, the balance would be definitely shaken. Other than the people who voluntarily followed Chen Go, all the other monsters and specters gathered to surround and attack Chen Go. They ignored the specters that hung around Chen Gu and placed their target on Chen Gu alone. They wanted to kill Chen Gu before the man had chance to summon the specter from inside his shadow. Stop them. We need to stop them. Those red specters and students who initially followed Chen Gu were slightly shaken when they were cornered, but when he heard from Chang Wenyu that there was another top red specter hidden in Chen Ji's shadow, their confidence in Chen Gu returned practically instantly. They were both top red specters, so Chang Wenyu did not need to lie. They felt like they had placed their bets on the right party, so they started to give it their all and sacrificed everything to protect Chen Gu to buy him as much time as they could. Blood swam about like sea. The expression of Chen Gu, who stood in the center of it, did not change, he just kept dropping the candies from the bag onto the shadow. His shadow was like a deep pool. No one knew what was hiding underneath. They could only see some trace of shadows. The candies disappeared one after another, and the massacre around Chen Gu reached its bloodiest moment. A large amount of blood squirted out from Lin Cici's gray fog, and one could even hear the blood-curdling scream from Suin. The red specters that surrounded the man with the blindfold all carried fatal wounds on them. They were slowly approaching a state close to death. The man with the blindfold utilized his power on them, but no one really cared, everyone risked the chance of being shattered into pieces to help Chin Go buy as much time as they could. The inverted and disfigured monsters that came out from Muyang High School's old well charged at Chin Go at the same time. The students from the School of the Afterlife all volunteered to stand guard around Chin Go, and they used their actions to win the school's approval. Painter, I bet you did not expect this, right? My last trump card is not even on me. Chang Wenyu kept mocking the painter. She was trying to buy them, too. The door of the School of Afterlife had almost been consumed by the three-headed monster, and the cracks on the door had grown so big that it was almost impossible to fix it. The painter was not influenced by Chang Wenyu, but one could capture a trace of hesitance in his eyes. He stared at the shadow behind Chen Gu, and the last piece of canvas, covered by blood vessels, silently appeared in his hand. The monsters from the old well and the blood fog cut open a path that headed toward Chen Gu, but any monster that tried to charge at Chen Gu would be stopped by the students. There was a low gasping voice that came from the crowd. The saliva that was radiating this horrible stench slid down the corner of his lips. A pair of evil, venomous eyes were staring at Chen Ji's back. The four limbs crawled swiftly on the ground. The humanoid monster who worked at the trash collection center was like a praying mantis that was hunting its prey. 
It borrowed the cover of the surrounding and jumped and weaved its way toward Chen Gu. It aimed for Chen Ji's neck and then opened its mouth wide. Bang a woman's skull blocked and landed on the strange monster's face. She used her own head to stop the attacking monster, thus protecting Chen Gu from harm. As someone who was practically forced to be there, she had done more than she was supposed to. Her blood dripped down her body, and the headless woman in the red dress half knelt behind Chen Gu. She was covered in wounds, and one of her arms had been pulled off. She was unable to recover on herself, and the other arm was holding her own head. The monsters continued to swarm forward. The headless woman's other arm was pulled off, and the pale arm dropped on Chen Ji's shadow. The black hair that was tied around her wrist slowly melted into Chen Ji's shadow. At that moment, Chen Ji's shadow seemed to become quite different. The few top red specters at the scene all felt something. The three of them all turned to look behind Chen Gu at the same time. She has awakened? The smile on Chang Wenyu's face froze, and the man who controlled the fog had a strong sense of alarm rising within him. Of the three of them, the painter was the calmest, and he stopped hesitating and came to a decision. Before anyone could realize what he was going to do, his eyes turned pure black, and he turned to look at Chen Ji's shadow. His bloodied finger fell on the last piece of canvas. This is not good. Chen Gu. Shield you shadow from view. Cries and orders came from the crowd. Chen Gu also subconsciously moved his body about. He lifted his head to look, and the painter was painting Chen Ji's shadow. The painter's special power? The painter was using his last power on Chen Ji's shadow. The school of the afterlife, which was chaotic and crazy, suddenly experienced a temporary lull. The match had been made. The painter could draw a ghost and strip away everything that was possessed by the ghost. There was a great limitation to this special power, but only the painter himself knew what kind of limitation that was. It's all over now. Chin Gu and the painter became the focus of the entire school. On the painter's canvas, Chin Ji's shadow gradually became clearer, and the shape of the shadow was having the same change. Even without seeing the real person, he can paint by looking at the shadow? Chin Gu felt like something on his body had slowly been taken away. An existence that was intertwined with his own destiny was disappearing little by little. Painting is just one of my powers. This pair of eyes can see the outline of the framework of destiny. I can follow the trail of destiny and paint whatever's related to you. Chen Ji's shadow on the canvas kept on changing. Everyone's attention was drawn by the painter, and Chen Ji's hands involuntarily moved to his heart. The feeling was hard to describe. He knew very well that he was about to lose something important. He wanted to scream, he wanted to yell out that name at the top of his voice. The color of the shadow behind Chen Gu gradually faded, but the shadow on the painter's canvas was getting clearer and clearer. Unable to breathe, after several long, tedious seconds, the shadow on the painter's canvas finally changed, and it turned into the original shape of the specter that was hiding inside Chen Ji's shadow. The painter's breath suddenly weakened, and everyone turned to look at the canvas that the painter was holding. On the canvas that was made from human skin was the picture of a weak, lanky body. There were many wounds left behind by nails and pins on his body. When the shadow on the canvas stopped changing, the shadow behind Chin Gu looked as if it had been thrown open. A small, shy shadow was standing next to Chin Gu. He hugged the sweet, milky candies in his embrace, and he was still munching happily on them. Only after several seconds did he realize that something was wrong. The candies in his arms dropped and rolled to the ground. The small shadow forgot how to chew. He shared a look with the painter and saw his own reflection on the painter's canvas. The smoke-like body dispersed, as if being blown by heavy wind, and the small shadow disappeared like it had never existed in the world. The scapegoat? When the painter said this like it was an afterthought, the three top red specters and the numerous red specters around Chen Gu were baffled. The specter that was hiding inside Chen Ji's shadow, the specter that so many people were afraid of, was just a scapegoat that was not even a half-red specter? We've been tricked? 
The smile on Chang Wenyu's face completely disappeared, and the faces of all three top red specters darkened. At that moment, no one realized that Qin Ji's torn shadow did not disappear fully. Instead, it started to spread to its surroundings, like a widening sea of blackness. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.